everyone, my name is Moni. And I'm Naveen. And today we are going to be playing Power Rangers Heroes of the Grid. Yeah, this one is designed by Jonathan Ying and it's published by Renegade Games. It plays two to five players as a fully co-op game based off of the 90s original TV show Power Rangers. Power Rangers. So it's part of my childhood, your childhood too. Yeah. And we got our outfits on. We're ready. We're ready. <laughs> and actually, Renegade Games has a Kickstarter currently. It's currently live right now. It's live, yeah. That I think is ending tomorrow. But it's for the newest expansion of this game, The Rise of the Psycho Rangers. So we figured that this would be a perfect time to go over the base game. So as per usual, we are going to start with a rules overview, and then we're going to go into the playthrough and the review. So if you're interested in jumping around, we're going to include the timestamps down below. And if you're interested in content like this and would like to see more, please consider subscribing. And without further ado, we are going to get started. So if you could please direct your attention to the center of the table, we have our play, our playing board. It's a game board. Yes, slightly basically. modular. It's a, uh, yeah. If you notice, it has five different locations. And if you were a fan of the original series, you might recognize some of these locations from the TV show. Uh, and then in the middle, of course, is the fifth location, which is the Control center, command center. Command center. Command center, where our friend Azordon. And Alpha 5. Used to be, right? Yeah. So this is a dice rolling battle game. Combat, yep. We're, we're full combat the entire time. Uh, so it's a little bit different from what we've covered in the past. But basically the way that it works is we are each going to be playing as a Power Ranger. Um, usually in games of more than two players, everybody would play as one Power Ranger. But since we are two players, we're going to control two Power Rangers each. Yep, that's how the game is designed for two players. Mm -hmm. And so the game is played over a series of rounds where we're going to be uh, rolling dice and using our cards in order to defeat these putties, putty patrollers. Yep. And then the whole battle is going to culminate in one large boss battle against the baddie herself, Rita Repulsa. That's her name, right? That's right. Rita Repulsa. She was locked in that little canister for so many years. Well, she's come to exact her revenge. So we're going to start by briefly describing how the game is played. We're not going to go into every rules detail. We're really going to try this time to just kind of do an overview and then we'll head into gameplay. Yes. So the game is played over a series of rounds and each round is split up into two phases. The first phase is the deployment phase. And so we're going to be using this deployment deck uh, to kind of tell us how to distribute the putty patrollers around the city. Just to define putties, putties are these little minions that are like under the boss and they're going to be characterized these. by these little figures. We have putty patrollers, and then we have the slightly worse super putty but patrollers. But they're a little stronger. So these are the two that are included in the base game. Mm -hmm. There's no expansions in this one whatsoever. And so we're going to be using this deck to deploy, to do five deployments per round. And we're just going to be basically flipping over cards and putting them out um, onto the city. Yeah. And that will make more sense um, when we actually play the game. But let's just kind of put some out right now. And after the deployment phase is done, then we go into the actions phase. Now, if you notice, we each have these two action tokens. And so what happens is during the actions phase, we can spend one of these tokens to take an action. Yep. Now the game is fully co-op. It doesn't matter who goes first. We just decide who wants to go next. And there are only three different actions that you can take. You can either move and, the, and in this version of the game, the two player version, our rangers move in tandem. So I'm playing the red and the black ranger. And so if I were to move, I would move both of them together in any to, to any location. Yeah, basically, basically, she cannot split up her two characters. They must stay together. Yes. And it, it's to any location. It doesn't matter if the location's adjacent. Any location mm -hmm. is where you can move. But that takes a whole action. And so the next type of action you can do, which is what you're going to be doing a majority of the time, is initiating a battle. So let's say, for example, we are all here in this location because there's a lot, of, a lot more stuff going on over there. And I were to initiate this battle, I flip over my action token. I'm starting the battle in this area with everybody involved. So we're basically going to be battling up to four of these guys, if there were more of them, and all of the rangers that are in the location is going to be contributing in this battle. Yeah, participating in the battle. Yep. Participating. Mm -hmm. And so the way that battle works is each of these uh, putty patrollers type, so the regular putty patroller and the super one, they each have their own battle deck. And so for each figure that we have in here, uh, we're going to draw cards from their battle deck to kind of form a linear battle line. So let's just say it looks like this. That's for the putty patroller and then the super putty patroller. Sure. Looks like this. And so uh, if there are like six figures in here, then we can do up to four of them and we would just lay them out in a line. And so the way that the battle works is starting with the rangers typically, we'll be taking turns um, attacking each other. 
Yep. So the rangers go first, then the putty will go, then the ranger back and forth until Correct. we end it. Some of these patroller cards have keywords on them that mm -hmm. will kind of change those rules. Like if any of them say fast, then this card will actually move to the very front of the line and the putties will go first instead of us. The cards that say guard on them act as like a defense for its adjacent cards. Uh, and so we, we're not able to attack this one before we attack that, yep. stuff like that. And so we each actually have our own deck of cards. Yes. And so each Power Ranger actually has their own set of 10 cards that are specific to that Ranger. In a, in a two player game, because we're playing two different Rangers, our deck is a mash of, of both character yes. decks together. So we have a 20, uh, 20 card deck. And so at the start of each battle, we are going to be able to draw up to seven. And that's also specific to the two player game. Typically it's only five, but you can draw up to seven that will be your hand for the entire battle. And so the cards uh, that you're gonna be playing from your hand, kind of they all look like this. Some of them require energy to be spent in order to play them. And so we each have uh, one energy token and I, think, I believe three of them get added to the yeah. pool mm -hmm. at the start of each battle so that we can um, spend them as a team. And so we're essentially just gonna be taking turns attacking these um, putty cards with the cards from our hands. So after we as the rangers attack, what we'll do is we'll look at the next putty in line. And if there's any modifier to what the putty does, we perform what, what's said on the, the little text box over here. Uh, after that, then the rangers go back and then it goes back and forth, always ensuring that the rangers take the very last action in the battle. Right, yeah. So once, once the last card in the whole line has been resolved, then the rangers get one more, one more. Uh, turn and then the battle ends. Right. If we were able to... Um, eliminate any of these these guys because the health is at the very top left here and if we're able to hit them at least that many times then the putty goes away and gets moved actually onto this track yeah, onto this area here. The, the power level track so let's say we beat these two guys and, and they go there like as soon as the last uh, space has been filled with a putty then we, we basically this. level up yep. the power level and we get a zord yeah and so if you're familiar with the old uh, series, the Zords are, are the different components of the Megazord. Mm -hmm. So over the course of the game, we're going to be getting, you know, we're going to be earning each individual piece and they give us uh, powers. A unique that we can power. Use. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. They give us powers that we can use during the round. And that's pretty much how the game is going to work the entire time. So there are two ways that we can lose and only one way that we can win. Yes. So the only way to win is to get to the final round where Rita actually shows up at the very, very end. After two monsters, uh, the boss is going to eventually show up. And if we can defeat her and uh, survive that battle, then we win. Right. It's the only yep. way to win. So now how to lose. Uh, if you notice, the, the locations have this number, these numbers at the bottom here. That is the location's panic level. So if we ever have uh, figurines equal to or greater, well, actually, you can't go greater than. You can't go greater than. As soon as you have uh, figurines equal to that number, then this location becomes panicked. And so if we were to have to deploy more figurines to that location, then they would get moved to the the next location clockwise. Yeah, and panic is symbolized by a little exclamation point mm -hmm. that we put there. If As soon as all four locations become panicked, we lose. And as I mentioned earlier, we're going to have to fight two different monsters during the course of the game. So the game comes with four different monsters, mm -hmm. And so we actually don't know which two are going to end up being in the deck. Yep. But as soon as a monster comes out, uh, it's going to go onto one of the locations as well. And that location automatically becomes panicked. Yes. So as soon as the monster is on location, it's also panicked. Um, so just keep that in mind. And the other way that we can lose is during battle, sometimes we're going to have to take hits. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have to basically spend our life points. And our life points in this game are our cards. So whenever we get hit by one of the bad guys, we have to flip over these cards and count the number of shields at the bottom right. As soon as we run out of our draw deck, we automatically lose. If one of us does, yep. As soon as one of us does. Mm -hmm. And this is different from the, uh, the standard game, because in the standard game, as soon as you run out of cards, then you, you, you basically like faint or something, mm -hmm. or you pass out and you end up in the command center where you can recover. Uh, but in the two-player version, as soon as either of us run out of cards, the game is over. And the last thing is the third type of action that you can do. There's moving, there's initiating a battle, oh, yeah. and then the third thing is you can recover. Recovering just allows you to take some of the cards that you discarded and move it back to your, your draw deck, up to six shields worth, which yeah. will make sense when we play the game. Yeah. The last thing that's different in a two-player game is that we have these two extra action tokens in the command center, and those are specifically for recovering. So before a round is done, we can decide, you know, how to divvy that up between the two of us. Yep. 
And I think that's pretty much that's it. That's the general We didn't of the go game, yeah. into, you know, minute detail about how the game is played this time. We figured that it'll be best to just explain that. Yeah, we we'll go. talk it through as we play. Yeah, we need a little bit of uh, cleanup here. And some setup, and setup as well. We gotta get those monsters in the deck. Okay, so we are all set up and ready to go. So just to kind of introduce our characters, I thought that it would be fitting to be the Red Ranger since I am wearing this shirt. Yes. So I'm going to be playing the Red Ranger and the Black Ranger. Um, the Red Ranger's special ability says, once per battle, a ranger of your choice may reroll any number of dice during an attack. Wow, that's good. So that's useful. Yeah, that's very good. Um, that's leadership. And so Zach Taylor, who's a Mighty Morphin Black, has this, this um, hip hop keto. And it says, once per battle, after you defeat an enemy card with an attack, you may deal one hit to another enemy oh, okay. card adjacent, adjacent to your target. So that's useful for guards. Is that for such. every attack or? Once per battle. Once per battle, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so I have Kimberly. Uh, because there's no Green Ranger. There's no Green Ranger, in, so, but she is game. the girlfriend of Tommy, I believe. <laughs> uh, and so uh, at the start of each battle, I may deal one damage to an enemy card of my choice. That's pretty good. Cool. And then uh, Billy, uh, we have strategized with Billy, and once per battle, a ranger of your choice may draw one card and then place that one card uh, from, uh, sorry, then place one card from their hand back on top of their deck. So that's good for defense, typically. Cool. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we're ready. That's it. <laughs> so I'm going to deal out the first, oh, this is not panicked. Yeah, no panic. Okay, so I'm going to deal out the first deployment. Okay. It's five I'll per round. Just dice so we have more space. So here we go. So the way that deployments works is I have the deployment deck in my hand. I'm going to flip over the first card, and it's going to tell us how many of what type of figure goes okay. out. So that's a the super next putty. card tells us where the putty is going to go. So this is just one super putty patroller in Angel Grove Park. The little guys that look like uh, water polo players. Or basketball. More. Like really intense basketball players. Yeah, I guess right? so. The Monstars. <laughs> so that's one. Next one is three putty patrollers. Okay, three basics. In the industrial district. Ooh, okay. So I'm going to hand them to you. Sure. Okay. Next one is one super putty patroller in Angel Grove High. Okay, down here. Got a little diversity. Our fourth one is two super putty patrollers in Angel Grove High. Uh-oh, that's, that's not good. Okay. And our last one is the two super putty patrollers in Ernie's, Ernie's Juice, Juice Bar. Bar. That was the spot. That was the hangout spot. So that was five. That was and these five, get yeah. shuffled and go back to, to the, the bottom, bottom of the yep. deployment deck. So we're always going to have five. Okay. okay. So now we can actually start the round. We have some... I mean, right now, you know, it's the first round. It's mm -hmm. looking, you know, not too bad, but these are areas that can become bad. A problem, yeah. Quick. So this one, Angel Grove High, has up to five. This one has six, so I think this is probably the main priority yes, to take care of. Yes, I would agree. Yeah. So why don't we move there, or unless, do you feel comfortable handling a different location on your own? I, I'm Yeah, you know, I'm wondering if I should split up from you. If you, you handle this and I handle this one over here. Or maybe I go to Ernie's Juice Bar with the two two supers. Okay, so I'm definitely going to spend one action to move my people here. Okay. I'm just going to try... And you feel pretty confident. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't feel confident Let's at all. Let's go for it. But uh, we're going to see how Divide this Divide and conquer. Do you, would you like me to go to Ernie's Juice Bar, or do you think I should go to the Industrial Park? Uh, go to the Industrial Park. The Industrial Park. I, I agree. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and flip over one of my actions. That's moving. And again, we have to stay together. And so there we are. So do you want to battle first or do you want me to go first? Uh, I will go ahead and battle first. Okay. Let's do it. Since I'm uh, selfish. So then okay. flip over your second action token. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to initiate a battle. So that's the second action, like she said. And, and he's initiating with all of these people. Yes. So we have three uh, regular putty patrollers. Correct. Pass me the putty patrol deck, please. Yes. There you go. And that's already been shuffled. Okay. So it's one card per putty patroller that we are going to put out in a line. Yep. Okay. Ready? One, we have the leaping attack. So this is going to deal three damage. Okay. We have another leaping attack. Okay. And our third one is a third okay. leaping attack. Wow. So just Not a lot bad. of damage. No keywords. No so keywords. None of these cards are guarded. It's just a straightforward battle. This yes. Is, this is good. Now, uh, because we have initiated a battle, three energy tokens are going to go to the center here. Mm -hmm. It's three energy tokens in a two-player game. In a two-player game. So that's why that's there. So I am allowed to draw... Seven cards. Hopefully yes. they are all attacking cards and not too much defense. And actually, uh, just to clarify, we're supposed to draw our hands before we 
put out these cards. Yeah, I but think that makes more sense. It's the first battle, so it's okay. Yeah, because you should probably know what you're getting yourself into right, with the you cards you the have. Right, before you make the decision yeah, with the that cards. that makes sense. We kind of went into blindly. Okay, so you get to go first. So, okay, before any battle, I'm going to use Kimberly's quick shot, which is at the start of each battle, you may deal one uh, hit point to an enemy card of your choice. So uh, let's just go ahead and hit the first guy. Okay. Since they're all identical. So now... So this needs one more. Just one hit. Yeah, they all have twos in the top left corner. So this one just needs one more hit. Uh, so we need a total of five hit points. So but you I, have need, to target I need to handle this person first because they're going to attack if I don't. So let me go ahead and hit that person. And if you can't see, the uh, the thing that happens is it's going to deal three damage if Naveen doesn't take it out now. Okay, so the first card I'm going to play in this battle is Billy's Tactical Strike. And basically what you see here is in the top left corner, the number is the amount of energy that is required in order to play the card. So in this particular case, zero, but some of the cards have more than that. Uh, and what I'm going to be able to do is roll two attack dice. That's what we see here. And these attack dice have anywhere from a complete miss, one hit, and up to two hits. And so what I'm going to be doing is attacking this particular putty right over here. All we need is one hit. And also, uh, what this card also allows me to do is, after I play this card, I can place it on top of my deck instead of discarding it, which is really, really good for me. Okay, so I'm going to roll two die. Good luck. And I need to not roll double blanks, basically, because Kimberly helped me out with one hit. All right, oh perfect. My gosh. So we got one blank, but we got a double hit. And I cannot split those hits. It has to go to this guy, so it's a little bit overkill. So this one mm -hmm. is now defeated. Defeated, yes. Okay, and so uh, what we do here is, because it's a back and forth, rangers go, then the putties go. So technically this is the putty's turn to go. The putty has been defeated, so their turn has gone because they kind of, they just lost. So this putty that represents this guy right over here is gonna come on over and come to our track over here. So again, once we fill all these up to six, we uh, get a new Zord, which is nice. Mm -hmm. All right, and so it is, Still the same battle, it's still ensuing, still going on. So the next one I'm gonna try to, to defeat is this other Leaping Lemming, the next one, because I don't want them to take a turn. Oh, sorry, this, this card is done, it's already been used, so I'm gonna put it back on top. And so because this putty is already gone, I'm just gonna tap it like right, that yeah. to show that, that they've taken their turn. Keep track, yeah, that's good. All right, so what I'm gonna do with Kimberly is I'm gonna use this card, which is Take Aim. It costs no energy, once again. And what it says is Maneuver. So I'm gonna gain one energy. So that's gonna go into our stored energy supply. So now we have four. And then what it says is you may immediately play another card. So that means the putty is not gonna go as typically. Um, this one allows me to go again. If it's an attack, I may reroll any number of dice during that attack. So I'm gonna go ahead and play, I'm gonna play my Blade Blaster. Ooh. This one right here. So this attack deals an amount of hit equal to the amount of um, energy I spend. And I can divide it amongst the different putties. Oh, so, really? So yeah, so I have four. These putties need two and two, which is exactly four. I don't even have to roll dice here. Nice. So I'm gonna spend these four, and that gives us two hit, two hit. Cool. Okay, you wanna help me out there? So that's pretty much it. So that's these it, yeah. two, once, once, the, uh, once all of the putty patrollers have been defeated, then the battle ends immediately. You don't right. have to carry it out. Right. Uh, okay, so that is three of them total. Yep. So these guys are going to come on over here. So we are halfway to Azord. Nice. Good job. Now, did I waste that card? Probably. <laughs> but hopefully it'll come back. Okay. Yay. So these. So go. this whole district is is done. And you're out of actions, I'm assuming. I the action am. tokens are done? I am out of them. Okay, so it now goes to me. And I guess I will flip over my second action token. Okay. Good luck. To start this battle. Good luck. And so we have here three super... Putty patrollers. Super dupers. Right. So that's not the best. Let me prepare myself first. So we need three energy tokens to go into the shared yep. energy pool. And I'm going to draw up. It's up to seven cards, but I'm going to draw seven cards. Yeah. Two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven. All right. Okay, so this one, just a reminder to myself, I can re-roll any number of dice during an attack. And okay, so the hip-hop keto. All right. Yeah. So if you could please pass me the Super Putty Patroller deck. Yes, Super Putty Patroller. Okay, you need three of them, right? Three of them. Let's All see right. what we have. Your first one is this one. We have the uh, Putty Pummel. So this one says deal three damage, okay. three health. Uh, another oh, one. Another Putty Pummel. Oh, are we going to go three for three? Uh, no, oh. not. So this is a swarm attack. 
And this was says, deal one damage, increase this damage by one for each foot soldier in this location. Yikes. They're all considered foot soldiers, so that's not yeah. good. But well, luckily, as long as you say it has a curve, you, you're going to, you'll do it. Luckily, it's third. <laughs> it's third, yeah. Okay, so none of them say fast, which means I get to go first, luckily. What does your hip hop keto do again? Uh, it says once per battle after you defeat an enemy card with an attack, then I can deal one damage to another enemy card oh, nice. adjacent Perfect. to my target. So, so that'll be the, the middle one. Yeah. So let's see. Because you're going to attack the first guy. Okay, so I'm going to target this first uh, putty, yep. and I'm going to play my Tyranno Slash. So okay. it costs one energy, so okay. one, spend energy. one energy, and I can attack using three dice. Okay. And, you and do then have it that says, ability to reroll too, which is good. Yes, and it, well, actually, this card says I can reroll any number of dice during this attack. Oh, nice! So, so you won't be using your embedded in the card. Nice. So I need three damage. Three damage. Yep. One, two, three. Yes. Perfect. Okay. okay. Exactly. So I mean. dealt three damage to this card, um, and I eliminated the putty. So now so. tap it, right? Because they're supposed to technically attack. So now it's their turn. Yep. So this putty is going to take its turn, All and right. that goes back to so me. So this guy is going to go over here. Two so, more. So oh. Because it, uh, it says once per battle after you defeat an enemy card with an attack, I can deal one damage to another enemy card. You want to do it to that one? Target. Uh, might as well? Sure, yeah, I might as well, right? Yeah. I can't decide if it matters I or mean, not. But... You know what cards you have, right? So, so if you can do it, you can... I tapped my Hip Hop Keto just for this battle. Nice. Uh, okay, so I only need two more hit points. I'm going to card, yeah. play Lead the Charge. So okay. this costs no energy, nice. and I can attack for two dice. Okay. And it says the next time any ranger performs an attack during this battle, I add one die to that attack. So this okay. is going to help me in the future. Right. All right. I just need two. One. One. Okay. Okay. That was a stinker. You can re-roll though. Oh yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm okay. gonna re-roll just this one. Just so you don't take an attack or a hit. Yeah, I don't want to. Yes. Nice. Okay. Yes. 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 Very yes. Good. Very good. So I defeated this uh, putty. And then it now they they go mm -hmm. so this is gonna get tapped and now it goes back to me. Over here. So if you can beat this one, we get a zord. We got one. Oh, shot. I'm gonna beat this one. Are you? Because if I don't, it's gonna deal one yeah. damage. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this gets discarded, and now I'm going to take my next turn, which is gonna target the only one left, which requires. Oh wow, it has three health. Three health. Yeah. How much energy do I have over there? You have two over there. I have here. two yeah. left, and I won't get to take them back. Okay, so I'm going to take my next turn, and it's of course going to attack this last Putty Patroller. It requires three damage to get rid of that one, and so I might as well just go for it. I'm going to play my Power Sword. It costs three energy. Okay, so you have two here. So I have two in the shared pool. I'm going to spend the third one okay. uh, from so that's three. Mr. Jason Lee Scott. And so this gives me a five dice worth of attack, but because of my lead the charge from the last action, I get an additional... Oh. Additional die. Here we go. All right. And then it also says the next time any ranger performs an attack during this battle, add two dice to that attack. Okay, so, so hopefully it doesn't come to. Hopefully it doesn't. Yeah, we have to battle again. That would be pretty bad. Come on. Wow. Okay, that's good. Okay, so that's overkill. Plenty. That's like two, four, six. All right. So this gets um, beat. beat, and that's it. The all battle right. is over. So the putty is gonna come all the way over here, and now we are filled with six. So this dun, dun, power dun, level is gonna move up. We clear this board off, go ahead and just place that somewhere else. And we get a Zord. And we get a Zord. Okay, so let's see what Zord we get. We get the Mastodon, uh, which is the Black Ranger. So whoever's in control of the Black Ranger gets this. So would you like to read yes. what your Zord is? How cool. So the Mastodon says, exhaust this card to immediately remove one foot soldier figure from any location and place it on the experience okay, track. Okay, gotcha. Now is that a, cool. a one-time use? No, this is a once per round. Once per round, right? Yeah. Okay. So... Very cool. I, we might as well use it now. Yeah, yeah, use it because the round is almost over. Okay, so yeah, I mean, we're we are both out of actual action, mm -hmm. action tokens. The mm -hmm. only ones left over are for recovery, which we'll do in a second. I think we should take one out of Ernie's bar. I think that makes the most sense. Yeah. So I'm going to to exhaust my mastodon. Okay. And we're going to remove. And now we go that. straight to the board. And it, does, it goes to the experience track. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. I like it. So we are now, we're pretty much done with the round. We just have these two last uh, recovery tokens. So I mean, we might as well just do one each, right? Yeah. So the way that recovering works is we spend the recovery token. And this is also just a regular action on our turn. We can use our regular action tokens to do it. Right. But these ones in the middle here are very specific to just recovering. And so what you get to do is you get to go through your discard pile. And there are shields at the bottom right hand corner. And we get to take six shields worth of cards and, and shuffle them back into your deck. Right. 
So, and in addition, you can also um, get your energy tokens back that yes. you spent because each right. ranger can hold one. One, yep. So I will do yeah. that. I guess I'll just do these two. Okay, and I'm gonna do it simultaneously. We're gonna flip this one over for myself. For yourself, yeah. Yeah, and I have I've spent two. I get two. That's it. And that's all. Go back now. The the four cards that I did not use, I keep. Yes, they stay in your hand. Uh, and then I need an energy token for yes. Jason Lee Scott. Jason. Thank you. For Mighty Morphin Red. Okay. <laughs> so now the round is officially over. Oh, we didn't do this, yeah, but we're supposed to clear off the actual enemy deck yes. cards and then we are going to unexhaust things that have been exhausted right right flip over your action tokens okay and that's the uh and we are going to start our next deployment round two so uh there's likely to be a monster in here okay so first up we have two putty patrollers in the two angel basics. go high oh right where you are perfect right there keep them coming those two Okay. Next, after that, we have three super putty patrollers oh, okay, that's a in Ernie's juice bar. Yes. One, two, and three. Okay. Uh oh, okay. I'll probably end up going there. Third up, we have two putty patrollers in oh, and a monster. And a monster. We have two putty patrollers and a, and Madame Whoa. Oh. Ah, she is difficult. Okay. So we have two putty patrollers. Let's do that first. Okay. And this is in the industrial right district. Right where I am, so I'll probably end up staying there. I mean, at least that's a nice, um, you know, cleared out area. Yeah. And Miss Madame Woe. Madame Woe. So I do have to get the Madame Woe deck. And so because this monster comes to this uh, area, it becomes panicked. It is automatically so now panicked. have a panicked location. Correct. But that was, that's not all, folks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's more. So, okay. So we're not done. This is only three deployments. So our next one is Two super putty patrollers in the industrial district. So yeah, even though we so, flipped over five cards, now there's only four deployments because Madame Mo doesn't count. Correct. And then we have our last one, which is three super putty patrollers wow. in Angel Grove Park over Park. here. So it, oh they're gosh. everywhere. We're running out of putty, patrol. putty patrollers. So here we go. Where's Angel Grove? Yikes. Angel Grove. Yeah, Park. everything's kind of surrounded here. Two, three. But we only have one panic location so far. Correct. Uh, and that's it. Okay, that so Madame Wo has a special deck here and that I've been shuffling here. So this is gonna kind of represent her. All right, so deployment is done okay. and we are in trouble. Yes. <laughs> it's a lot of Thank plastic yes. in for, for such a small circle. <laughs> so, okay, we, do you want me to go over there? I mean, I'm already there. You definitely need to vacate this area. This is yes. the least problematic area. I'm going to do that now. Are you going to join? I'm spending an action token, and I'm just going to hip-hop keto over here. Nice. You like that? I do. <laughs> do you want to initiate the battle? You know what? I, I think... Um, oh, shoot. Actually, I should initiate the battle. Because if we're successful, you can go somewhere else and still initiate and the still second initiate, one. And still initiate, right? Yeah. Okay. So, okay, here we go. Yeah. All right, I'm in, we're initiating. So let's uh, let's put the three energy tokens yes. in the shared pool, shared pool, and then you can draw up to a hand of seven cards. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I don't remember if I shuffled three. my thing here. So let's go ahead and shuffle. Oh boy. Okay. Ooh, so now we are going to prepare the enemy deck. Yes. So this is a little bit different because we have a monster mm -hmm. in our midst. So the first thing that happens is we get the actual monster deck, which is Madame Wo. Right here? Yes, so each monster has their own labeled deck, and I believe it's of uh, eight cards. Um, we're still only going to use four cards from her deck, even though there's only one monster. Yes. She is four, four cards four powerful. Yeah. And we have to defeat four cards of hers total in order to completely eliminate the monster. So if we aren't able to defeat all four cards this battle, we might have to do another battle. Yes. But hopefully not. So first up, we have the Braid Lash. Okay. This yeah. deals three damage and drains one energy. And it does have a guard. It has a guard. So Oops. next one is teleport. Um, and this is guard and passive. It has a passive ability that mm. says, while this guard is in play, rangers cannot deal damage to any other Madame Woe cards. Wow. So a guard <laughs> card, just give you guys a heads up. A guard card cannot protect another guard card. That That's Correct. just a heads up right there. Okay. Right, so mm -hmm. that is actually really helpful. Okay, next up we have the Breath oh, of Death. Gosh. And so this is a fast card, which means it now gets moved all the way to the front, and also Madame Wo is going to go first. And this one says each ranger must discard one random card oh. from their hand. That's what's going to have to happen first. 
Uh, and this card is guarded, actually, because it's next to the Braid Lash. That one is guarded. Yes. And the last card is the Deadly Claws, which is also fast. Oh, gosh. And this one just gives deals four damage. So this is going to go to the very front. And that's not good. No. We also... So that's it for Madame Mo's deck, actually. But we also have four uh, Putty. So two Patrol super. In here. We have two super and two regular. Do you want to do the super or for the regular first? Uh, let's do the regular first. Okay, so two regular Putty Patroller cards. Okay, two of them. We have... Mm -hmm. And so the way that it works is the Putty Patroller uh, line is going to go underneath Madame Woe's. So the first one is the Leaping Attack. That We've deals three that damage. Before, yeah. Then we have the Cannon Fodder. <laughs> that deals two damage. And so... Because this has a guard, this card is actually guarding this card and this mm. one. Because it's not only horizontal, but it's vertical. So That's the whole point of the grid. So problematic. And then we also have two super putty patrollers. We have the engulf, which is a fast card wow. and a guard. Oh my goodness. And we have the putty pummel. <laughs> so in short, <laughs> This card is going to go first. Yes. This card is guarded by this one, so we can't actually attack that card. Nope. Oh, this is stressful. Okay. Okay. So because we are at the start of battle before we uh, before Deadly Claws takes its effect, we have uh, Kimberly's Quick Shot. At the start of each battle, you may deal one damage to an enemy card of my choice. Uh, the only card that we're legally allowed to, I believe, is Teleport, I believe, right? Yes, because... This says, while the card is in play, Rangers cannot deal damage to any other Madame Woe cards. So, yep. yes. So, we're going to go ahead and deal one damage to that one. All right. Okay. One damage to you. Okay, so Deadly Claws is uh, this this one right here. And what it's going to do is deal four damage to one of us. Yes, so who wants to take the damage? So, basically, we choose amongst us who is going to take, take this damage. damage. Yep. And we're going to be drawing cards from our deck in order to try to combat that damage. So, who's going to take it first? Uh, I, you know, I, I could take it technically. Um, you want to take it? Yeah. If I use Billy's strategize, then I can, uh, I can get some shields to protect against it. Unless okay. you have something. Um, actually I do have this card. This is a reaction card called smooth moves. Okay. It costs no energy. And this says play this card when any ranger suffers damage to reduce that damage by two and gain one energy. So now it's only two damage. Okay. So, okay. And we get two and we get one, one energy. energy. Nice. We need energy. The energy pool. So now we have four in the in the main, and we both have two on each other. So now I only have to take two damage, so we'll show yes. how that works. So hopefully so, we have two shields. The way that taking damage works is Naveen flips over his top card okay, and looks at the shields yep. at the bottom right. If it's equal to, in this case, mm -hmm. equal to the number of damage he's the taking, yep. then he discards it and he doesn't draw any more. That's the end of that. If it was not enough, so if it only had like one shield, then he would have to continue drawing. Right. And if, if the shields are greater than the number of damage he's taking, then he actually gets to keep the card. It goes at the bottom of his deck. Yep. And then that's it. That's it. So that is how um, damage is dealt. It's a scary thing because this is also our game timer. Timer, yeah. Our life. Yeah. So that's why you want to keep him in play. Okay. So uh, but that worked out. Deadly Claws was so. used. So now it's the Ranger's turn. Yes. So we can only really attack uh, that Teleport. Moment. Yes, teleport. So, do you have anything that you'd like to use? Well, I have maneuver, and maneuver is where I, I I gain one energy to the supply, and I can immediately play something else. I have that blade blaster if you just want to pay, but that seems like a waste right now. That does. I have. I also have my blade blaster too. That's just funny. Okay, I'm gonna play my team tactics. I think so, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's zero uh, energy. It's a maneuver. We nice. gain one energy. We do. And it says another ranger of my choice may immediately play a card. So, did you want to play something? Or do you, you want, want me to play to? that maneuver? Then we gain another energy. Sure, let's do it. But we're All just right. gonna <laughs> bulk up on energy right yeah, now. Yes. So this is uh, take aim. We saw this card earlier. Uh, it cost me no energy. Gain one energy. So now we are gonna have a six energy. Wow. And then you may immediately play another card. If it's an attack, you may reroll any number of dice during that attack. So, um, uh, I have Arrow Shot, which is uh, that, that card I was talking about, and I get to roll three dice. How much energy do we have? We have six. Do you I also to... have Blade Blaster. Well, I have to go next because I'm playing the Maneuver, which is immediately play another card. So it's oh, me. oh, it has to be you. Yeah, I do have my Blade Blaster, okay. which I can spend... Six of them. So we are going to use the Blade Blaster, <laughs> which is Billy's Blade Blaster. And this is the one that has an X because what it does is uh, this attack deals amount of hit points equal to the amount of energy spent. So we're paying for the, <laughs> for the win. Now, sh I think I want to 
take my energy and leave you with some energy to work with. Well, these are interchangeable. We can uh, put them we can, all. Oh, we can pool. all. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, then, uh, then I will do that. So then I'm going to spend <laughs> four. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. Because we don't want to do an overkill on this. There's already one hit point from Kimberly's quick shot plus the four. We needed five total. This is. Teleport is done. Done. Madam Wo. One Whoa. Madam Wo card is done. Okay, so now it's Madame Wo's turn. Breath of Death. Yes. Each ranger must discard one random card from their oh, hand. Oh, I totally forgot about that, but yeah. there's nothing so we can do I'll, about it. I'll draw yours and you draw You'll mine. Draw. Okay, yeah. That's a shame. The good thing is we'll get to know what it is. I hope you don't. Street. There. Oh, it's the guard one. Your arrow the, shot. Yeah, the, the one that I talked about. Oh, no. I oh, no. that one to stay around. Okay, which one do I discard? The middle one right here. Reaction. My smooth moves. Oh no! Is that one you were looking forward to using? Yeah, it's it's uh if somebody if we take a hit, then it decreases that. Oh it's one yeah. That I played earlier. Yeah. Ah yeah. oh, darn. Okay. Oh no. So that's it. So she took her. So turn. now I think we should try as best as possible to take out the next card. This one. Yes. Okay. Yes, I agree. Because that's the one that's going to go next. So, so how we... much energy do, do we have? Because I have that card that lets well, you we buy. we technically have six. There's four the here wind. plus two for you. Do you, I have you, a flying kick? Are you going to need any more energy? Uh, just one. I have another one of those arrow shots that we, the one that you just discarded. I have another one of those. Then can I play my blade blaster? Oh yeah, you go first. All yeah, right, for sure. I'm playing the blade blaster. This is for the you pay the energy to divvy out hit points. Nice. So one, two, three, four. Do we want to spend all of them just on this one? Yeah, because if not, then that one's gonna do something to us, and it's gonna drain. So. Okay, so spend four energy. And this one goes bye bye. So now that one doesn't take a turn because it's it's eliminated. Yes. So then so now she goes again. So they went. So we have a little freebie turn right Correct. here because yeah. she's not going to hit us. Exactly. So now is the time to try to chip away. We need to we need to eliminate these two. Yes. These 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 ones are important too, the putties. But this she's really important. If we can eliminate this monster, then all of the putties are going to go away. So the the thing I this thing is. This one is a fast guard, so this guard is technically protecting this card Correct. right here. So we need to. I do have that three. arrow shot. Do you want me to try to take out this one right here? Oh, you still, you still I have, have one it? of. I have one more of them. Yeah, I okay. have one more. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Do it. Okay, so it's gonna cost one energy, which I need to borrow from either Jason or Zach. And also, um, are you. I still have this leadership. Once yeah. per battle, you can reroll. Yeah. Uh, Jason or Zach, would you donate to you the go. cause? Perfect. So arrow shot costs one energy. I'm going to get to roll three dice here, and then this particular one is I get to ignore the guard um, moniker on these cards. So this Which one is right fantastic, here. because this card was guarding this card. Correct. So I'm assuming this is your target? That's my target, yeah. Okay, I'm good going luck. to that one. So... You need three. Three. Three damage. <gasps> three, exactly. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, so we have a two, a one, and a blank. So good job. So that's three. Bob, So okay. that one's dead. Or so gone. now she takes her turn. And resolves this Correct. card. No. So, oh wait. Before she took her turn, I'm gonna do hip hop keto. Hip -hop keto. I love it. So after you defeat an enemy card with an yes. attack, you may deal one damage to another enemy card adjacent nice. to your target. So we're gonna deal okay. one damage. So, by the way, I should have tapped Kimberly's card, which I didn't. Okay. So we did that, and now it's our turn again. Yes. Is and there any way that you can deal three damage? This is three damage. <laughs> Um, well, I can do a three die attack. I can only do a two die attack. I think it's you. Plus you have Jason's reroll ability. Okay. You haven't used Jason's... No, I haven't. Okay, perfect. I'm anticipating needing to take two turns to do this. Why is that? So what I'll do... I don't know. <laughs> because I'm scared? Let me see. So the only thing that when this putty takes its turn, the only thing it's going to do is drain it's energy. Drain it. Energy. So if you have, I have cards that don't t require energy to use. So, uh, yeah, and I don't so, require So we could be safe here. We could let that, that okay. buddy do its thing. So I'm going to play lead the charge. Okay. So it's a two die attack, but if I'm not successful um, this time, then it's going to add one die to our next Perfect. turn. Perfect. And again, this one costs zero energy, yeah. so we don't have to spend it. So hopefully I get three Yeah, two, two here. doubles. One. One. Okay, so it's one damage to her. That's good. Not, not the best. Not a deal. But, oh wait, I can reroll. You can reroll. Should I reroll this one? Yeah, why not? Okay. Did a double. Oh, I saw the double. Okay, well, I, I tapped I it. I saw it and then I it just know. It decided rolled. that. Yeah. Not today. Okay. So 
Not a most turn, drain one energy. So it's so just this drain one, right? the energy, yeah. <laughs> the energy the has energy. been drained. So I'm running out of cards. So that one. Um, and so, then back. About, so I have a, I have a free attack. I get to roll two dice, and we get to gain an energy. Oh. Uh, we really want to wrap this up on this turn. You can. It gives you a two an dice. energy. It gives me two dice to roll, and I end up get one energy. And your card allows. Yes. Yeah, so a third you have die. a third die. Do you have anything better than that? No, you can go ahead. I okay. think that's a good, good plan. Yes, flying kick. Nice, like Liu Kang. What? All right, so we have a zero energy cost because we have no energy, so it's a perfect time. So I get two attack die. We are going to gain one energy to the supply. Hopefully it doesn't come down to it. And he gets a third die because of my lead the charge that I played last action. It just says add one die to the next so attack. We need a total of two hit points amongst these three dice, so no blanks. <laughs> one, two, three, perfect. Yay. A little overkill, but It's a got. little, yeah, one, one hit over, it's, but... It's done. Madam Mo is no Mo. Yeah. Nice. So the <laughs> okay. cool thing about this is not only do we defeat Madam Mo, but any putties that are still remaining automatically get kicked out at the end of this battle. At the end of so this battle, so we're not quite done because now, um, Mister Putty Patroller is going to do a leaping attack on one of us. Mm. It's going to deal three damage. Um, I have a block that costs no energy, and it says play this card when any ranger suffers damage to reduce that damage by three. So we deal no damage. Nice. Yes. Okay. The battle's not done. Okay. Yeah. The, ba the battle's done when either we've completed it or we've eliminated all of them. So. Your boy got you. So can you react to this? Nice. That's perfect. Awesome. Cool. Uh, so then... So that this, one went. That one went, and now it's our turn. Do we want to try to... I mean, we have time. We should probably try to eliminate some of these putties, right? Yeah, I only have two cards, and none of them really do anything. You don't have any attack cards? I have no attack cards. Yeah, I went all out for what we've done. Well, I have to attack this one, because this these two cards are guarded. Right. And it's going to deal us damage if I don't. So I'm going to play my Mammoth Slam. Nice. It's no energy. No it energy. gives me two uh, dice, but okay. it says if there are four or more cards in my discard pile, I add one die to this Oh, deck. nice. Perfect. So three total. I don't even know what uh, card is there. Against Cannon Fodder. Let's go. Hit the three. Oh my gosh. Worst case scenario. <laughs> and no reroll. No reroll. Okay. It's going to be okay. Wow. <laughs> well, that was the last card in my head. So, um, Cannon Fodder takes a turn and deals two damage. Now, I do have Billy's Strategize. Do you want me to take the damage? Or, well... Sure. This I mean, one's going to also do its thing on us. Yeah. So, uh... How many cards do you let have? Let me take the damage for the next guy. For You want to take the damage I'll take one? that one for Okay, that one. I'll take the damage then for Cannon Fodder. All right, hopefully you flip over... So, it's two damage. Yeah. All right. One okay. so shield that, yeah. and one shield. Two. So, that's it. Okay. So, so two damage. She had to show two shields. So she it goes got back through. to us. I don't have any more cards. Okay, so we're going to use Billy Strategize. And again, this is once per battle. This is a battle. Uh, a ranger of your choice, which will be me, may draw one card and then place one card from their hand back on the top of the deck. I know that this has three shields, so I'm going to put it on nice. top of my deck. Did you draw a card that was an attack card? No. No, oh, you I didn't. didn't. Oh. No. So we're just going to take the hit and then get the and heck out of it. And that's our turn. So now yeah. it goes to the putty pummel and it says deal three damage. Oh, good thing I have three shields. Perfect. So this is just meets criteria, so I don't get to keep the card, but it goes right Okay, my so that gets resolved. It goes Done. back to us, but neither of us have any cards to do anything, so the battle is over. Uh, we didn't actually defeat any of these uh, bad guys, so we don't get to add them to our... Yeah, no putties get to um, go here. Yeah, our experience track. That's okay. But they all go away because our monster was defeated. Hey, you never used the Mastodon. It's power. <laughs> the Mastodon? Yeah. You never used it this round. Oh, I still can. You should probably do it. Yeah, I will. <laughs> so we eliminate these putties. They go bye-bye. And Madame Woe also is out because we have defeated four of her cards. Yes. Animals, so, yeah. and the industrial district is no longer panicked. So you still have two action tokens left. Mm -hmm. Where where are you going to go? I can't do anything else. No, I'm so you're going to be there. Um, I should definitely leave because there's four and four here. I'm just worried about getting into a battle that I can't get out of. Well, we can use a Mastodon now. Okay. Let's exhaust this card and we get to remove one foot soldier figure from any location. Which location do you want to go to? Well, Ernie's Juice Bar is at five is a panic and Angel Grove is at six. 
I'm just so, going to play the numbers and go there. Yep. Let's remove one. So one goes here. Location. Perfect. So the Zord was played. Uh, okay, we are going to flip one tile. These reset. I'm going to flip one tile, and Billy and Kimberly are going to come on in over here. Oops, sorry, ah, Zach. Okay. My bad. All right. So here we are. Did you want to recover before you? Before yeah, I might you as can well. Use a right? recover token. I might as well. Yeah, yeah that way you it. can get I'll, some energy back. Yes, I will recover. So I get two energy. Yeah. One for me and one for Billy. <laughs> so are you Kimberly? <laughs> what? I'm Kimberly. Yes. <laughs> one for me, for me and, and Billy. Billy. <laughs> um, and then you can take six six shields six worth shields. of cards. You are right. Put back into your deck. Oh my gosh, you're so right. So it's one shield. Two, three. And now we haven't discussed four, this five. yet, but anytime uh, somebody moves into the command center, six, you do okay. a full recover. So you get your whole yeah, discard back into your entire deck and you mm. shuffle it all back in. That's a that's a full recovery. Yes. That's but if it, you actually maneuver into the command yes, center. Yes, right? it yeah. does require you to, go, you to go to the command center. Right. Okay, so I took six shields worth of cards. They are shuffled in here. I do still have these discards. And you're going to spend. I'm going to spend my final action to initiate a battle. All right. Now, remember, Kimberly's quick shot is at the start of each battle you may deal one. So it's not like I use it in the last battle, can't use it here. Oh, and it appears we have one uh, leftover energy token from the last battle. So if we have any of these left over, they're supposed to go to oh, yeah. be divided amongst the rangers who still have space for one. Because I don't have any more energy, I guess I'll just take it, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah, I don't get to use it. So now you're going to start this battle? Correct. So um, I need to drop to seven. So yes. I have two cards. Let's get some attack. Okay. <laughs> Good luck. Oh boy. And then you need three energy tokens in your supply. Five. Okay, here we go. Whoa, so this is nice yours. One. Wow, I have power bow. Ready? Yes. So you have three uh, super putty patrollers. Okay, let's go so ahead and shuffle those. Shuffle them up. Give me the weakest super putty patrollers possible. I want to take these guys out. Here we go. Okay, number one. We've got a Putty Pummel, mm. deal three damage. No, nothing fast. We have a Regrow, which lets you deploy, uh-oh, this says de deploy one Super Putty Patrol to no. this location. You need to eliminate that. Yeah. And the last one is the Swarm Attack. So deal one damage, increase this damage by one for each foot soldier in this location. What am I doing There are here? no keywords on any of these cards. That's good, no guards, no fast. So like that. it is a good day. Yeah, well... You get to go first. I do. So I do have Kimberly's quick shot. We are in a new battle, so I do get to deal one damage to somebody. I'm thinking I'm going to deal the damage to the first card. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. I want to stay ahead of the curve a little here. You got it. Putty pummel. Okay, so I have a tactical strike, which is Billy's zero. I, I might want to use this one. It is. It doesn't cost any energy. I get to roll two dice. Okay. And after I play this card, place it on top of the deck instead of discarding it. Nice. So I'm going to play it. I'll just keep it here. Okay, so you need two I need two damage. hit points. We need no blanks. Nice. One, two. All right, perfect. Ooh, you are rolling well. Excellent. So that was two, okay, good. two hit points in the dice. Excellent. This excellent. one goes out. This one is resolved. So yep. Putty is going to take its action. It died already. So tap it. Can you go there? Okay, so now the Putty takes its action. Mm-hmm. You know, we totally forgot. We we didn't take the Zord. When you beat a monster, ah, you're supposed to get a Zord. We defeated Madame Wo, so we, we automatically did. get a Zord. We should have had this Zord, Zord here, so... This might be helpful. Oh, the Pink Ranger, so it's mine. Okay. Oh, wow. Exo it's a Pterodactyl. Exhaust this card during a battle to gain two energy. Wow. Good thing that you... Wow. Yeah, so gonna we're going to use it. <laughs> take it and use Already it. Already now? I mean, it's... It's yeah, this is the last it's round. Last you know? it's, yeah, okay. I might as well just get in there and try to do my best. Okay. Okay. Now it's my turn again. Okay, so can I do this all? I, I'm worried. <laughs> that I can't do it? No, I maybe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How much does that and one need? That, Two health? Yes. Two health. Okay, I'm gonna play my maneuver card here. No, no, let's not do that. Since we have enough we have enough. I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna waste the card. Okay. So I'm going to play my arrow shot. This costs one energy. Uh huh. And it allows me to roll three dice. I get to ignore the guard card. There's no guard card here, so we don't yes, worry about that. Yeah, it doesn't matter. All right, let's roll it up. We need two hits. That's all. Good luck. One, two, wow. three, four. You need to roll every time. Sounds good. Maybe. I think we did it. And that was this one, right? Yes. So we. Or you. Okay, so the, yeah. You you kill that one. I take credit. So right. that one so goes. So this one goes over here. It takes its action. It's non-existent. It takes its turn. It's non-existent and action. Back to you. Okay, so. So this is a, a health of three. 
you know what? I'm just going to go hard. I'm just going to try to wipe this thing out. Okay. <laughs> With the power bow. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. I, should I waste this right now? Is this no, a waste? It's a waste. Oh, man. Okay. Fine. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I also have possible. the mighty maces, which cost me one, and I get to roll three, but I have to be perfect here. Yep. That's, <laughs> okay, that's, let's, uh, let's, hope, be, hope that you're let's perfect. go perfect. All right. Now, should I just use one on, on, on this? Because then this will just replenish it. It doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm going to spend, spend one. one, roll three, and now Jason, your your card cannot be effective here, right? Because we're not together. Correct. I'm not in the battle. I need three to defeat the swarm attack. Oh. oh it's okay. You're going to have one more chance. I will. So you deal two damage. Deal two damage. Now and it's going to do what? Now this one says deal one damage. Increase this damage by one for each foot soldier in this location. So, so there's one. So it deals you two damage. Okay. Let's just have two shields then. Two shields. Okay. Tactical strike gets wasted. Nice. But at least you have, uh, you don't have to keep on going. I don't have to keep going. Uh, so it took its turn. You have one final turn to wipe that one out if you'd like. You yeah. might as well. You know what the sad thing is? Is I'm going to have to now use that card that I talked about earlier. Oh. <laughs> it is what it is. Should I just... You can just choose I should, not to. I should probably just take the hit, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to waste this card because I know a monster is going to come up probably in the next mm -hmm. one. Yeah. So then the battle I will forgo this one. Yes, exactly. Okay, so then you have one uh, Super Putty Patroller still. Yeah. There. But that is okay. I don't want to waste it. So I these am running go... a little thin on cards here, though. I'm just a little nervous about that. These go out. Okay. And we'll and those later. The last thing is we have one more recovery token. So how many cards do you have in your discard? Uh, I have quite a few. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have what ten. You... Oh, you. Then so you do I'm it. going yeah. to use it to recover. Six, eight, ten. Um, I get one energy token to put I'll on this one. from here. And then those ones go away. I'm going to untap these. And yes. then and untap your zords also. I get That's six the end of the round. shields worth of cards. So let's choose some good ones. All right, I have chosen three uh, cards here. Okay. A total of six shields. Nice. And I'm going to shuffle them shuffle into my up. deck. Yes. And that's it. So let's turn these over as well. Okay. Oh, yeah. And then we are going to go into the next, next round. One, yeah. So deployment phase. Yeah, hopefully they don't go to Angel Grove Park. Yeah, I'm just we'll to see. That one. Ready? Yeah. So we have two putty patrollers. Basics, okay. In Ernie's juice bar. Where I already am, okay. Bring that's it nice. on. We have one putty patroller, that's nice. Where you are. In the industrial district. It's a standard putty. Where you are. Oh, where I am. Mm -hmm. oh. Oops, sorry. Uh, number three is two super putty patrollers in Angel Grove Park. Ah, so uh -oh. we have a panic. Is it, is it panic? One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah. Six. That's six. not good. Panic. We have a two putty patrollers. To go along with a monster. Oh no, and a monster, let's see who it is. The Nasty Knight. Nasty knight. Oh, <gasps> so nasty, where is this knight? Where good. are you? Oh, here. Okay, so they are going into Ernie's Juice Bar. So Ernie's Juice Bar is hey, come on over. panicked. Come on over. So we have two panicked locations there now. Uh oh, this is not good. And then the uh, final deployment is three putty patrollers wow. in Angel Grove Park. Is Angel Grove Park panicked? Yeah, so it's just going so to automatically move clockwise. The industrial district instead. Which is where you are. It was three regular ones? Uh, I believe so, yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So, looks like we're in trouble. Yeah. Uh, so this is panic. This is panic. This is soon to be panic where you are, you are. So Nasty Knight is yeah, out. Nasty Knight. Here's the Nasty Knight nasty card. Knight. Uh, so do you want me to just say goodbye to the industrial district? Totally. I think and... you should just fight this knight. Okay. So I'm going to spend one of my action tokens to move yep. into Ernie's Juice Bar. Because we so want to try to, to unpanic this yeah. location. <laughs> yeah. So do you want to do the thing again where I initiate? Initiate. Sure. So that in case you want to move somewhere else, you can fight on Do your you own. think you're going to want to use that to go to the command center so you can do a full refresh? Because I, I can initiate. But then we have all these other... These are going to be bad. They are going to be bad. I can initiate and then try to do a majority of the attacking. Okay, so I'm going to spend my second action token to initiate this battle. Very but nice. before we do, let's let's do the, um, are the you Mastodon. Mastodon. You want to? Sure. 
It says exhaust this card to immediately remove one foot soldier figure from any location. So you might as well... Let's do one of those. Yeah. Because if we defeat the Nasty Knight, all of these foot soldiers they are going to go, go away anyway. Yeah. Okay, so I top the Mastodon. We're going to take out one of these super putty patrollers. Super. And it goes go onto our experience track. Yeah, very good. So one more and we get a Zord. Yeah, we need another Zord. Oh my gosh, that'll So pass. I do have my Pterodactyl, which is exhaust his card during a battle to gain two energy. I'd like to see... Yeah, you don't have to do yeah, it now. Yeah, I'd like to see first. Um, okay, so let's prepare the battlegrounds. Yeah, so so three Knight. energy tokens over there. Yep. And then we get seven, draw up to seven cards draw in our hand. Seven, so yeah. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I didn't have any cards in my hand. I'm also running thin, by the way. Oh my gosh, I only have a few cards left in my deck. Seven, yes. That's okay. not good. The Nasty Knight has their own deck right here. We're going to shuffle it up. Let's see what the Nasty Knight has nice in stuff. store for us today. Go ahead. You can, if you want to do any more shuffling. All right. I trust it. Ready? The fate. First card. The Lion Shield. Oh, guard. So this is a guard, passive card. After a ranger deals damage to this card, that ranger suffers the same amount of damage. That stinks. All right. Wow. Smash and Slash. Deal three damage to a single ranger twice. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh. Uh, we have the Nasty Slash that says deal four damage. And last but not least, another Nasty Slash, which deals four damage. That's a lot and of damage. In addition, yeah. we also have some Putty Patrollers here. Now we have five of them. Only four of them are going to battle. I say we go with the, all the basics. I do too. So we're going to do four regular Putty Patrollers. Here you go. You can <sighs> shuffle it. You can cut it. Okay. Ready? Luck. Yeah. So we have a swarm attack. Nice. I deal one damage, increase that one. Oh no, this is increases damage by one for each foot soldier in this location. Mm. We have uh, a cannon fodder, which is a guard. So it's guarding these two cards. Oh gosh. Which are already guarded by this guard, okay. by the that way. That works, yeah. We have a, oh, another cannon fodder, which is a guard. And a leaping attack, which deals three damage. So no fast A lot of cards, people to deal with, Monique. Which means we go first. Yes, that's nice. good. Okay. So I, I remember that you had that really nice card mm -hmm. from the last battle still in your hand. Yeah. Sounds I like do. a decent time. So I do have my quick shot. So who are we going to quick hit? I also have my power sword. Maybe I should use my power sword. It's um, five dice attack. Costs three energy though, but it says the next time any ranger performs an attack during this battle, you can add two dice to that attack. Okay, so do you want to do that right now? Yeah. So I think is you're going to take a bunch of damage. That's right. <laughs> I forgot that it has but, a lion shield. Yeah. Well, do you want me to use Kimberly's at the start of each battle? I have to I have to do this now. Okay, do it. So at the start of this battle, do you want me to deal damage to the first card so yes, that you definitely. take less? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so if that's the case, we only need three, three hits. hits on here. So maybe that's not the best. Don't forget I have the pterodactyl that can add two um, energy to the supply. I can play my mammoth slash. It's going to give me three dice worth of okay. attack. Okay. Should we do it? Yeah, go for it. Okay, so Mammoth... Oh, sorry. Mammoth Slam. Slam. And yeah. it's free. No energy required. I like it. Um, it's two dice uh, default. And then it says I can... Uh, if there are four or more cards in my discard pile, add one die to this attack. Ah, so good. Three nice dice card. Come on. Oh my gosh, please, Don't please, Don't forget please. you have Jason's ability also. Though. Yes. We'd like to not use it. My Mighty Morph in Red. One, two, three. Awesome. Nice. That was fantastic. So you defeated so it. I dealt three damage... Unfortunately. Does that count as dealing damage? That, no, I don't think so. I, it I think... says you may deal one damage to an enemy card of your choice. After a ranger deals damage to this card, that ranger suffers oh. the same amount of damage. Okay. So I was supposed to flip a card then. Yeah, right? so the first shield. Oh, look at that. Three. So I get to keep it. You get to keep it. Three shields. It goes to the bottom. At least I didn't uh, run out of cards. And so now I suffer my damage, yes. which is three to me. Uh, so let's Luck. do it. Oh, three. Oh, wow. Nice. So I get to keep it. So three for three. Excellent. Um, and wow. Then now, Best case scenario right there. That was crazy. This card is defeated. And now Nasty Knight takes his turn. We resolve that card just like that. Right. And now it's back to us. So we've got this Smash and Slash. It's which... guarded. Oh, it is? Oh, it is. It's guarded. So we could do an X Blaster. What's that? The, the Blade Blaster, the one that, like, you can just um, divvy up. Yeah, you can pay to divvy up. 
So how I much can, energy I can, do we have? I can pay, well, I have the pterodactyl to give us an extra two. Okay. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I can divvy up and, and, and do three plus four and take seven and put them both down. Okay, let's do yeah. it. Okay, so, all right, blade blasters down. I'm gonna tap the pterodactyl. We're gonna get two energy in. Into our energy pool? Yeah. Of which we're gonna spend seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So two, I'll spend mine. Three, four, five, six, seven. I leaving you two. with very little. That's okay. But it is what it is. So yeah. we defeated this one first, <laughs> we did. right? So and then we don't this one's wrap. second. Yes. So fantastic. So that Putty Patroller goes Bales, yeah. on our experience track. Oh, yes. Landing us a third Zord. Oh, and you know what? We should have been here when we got that Zord. So now we get a third Zord. Yes. All right, Zord, give us something. It is the Blue Ranger, so it's For mine. You. It's a Triceratops. Uh, Exhaust this card to allow any ranger to choose up to two cards from their discard pile and return them to the top of their deck in any order. Wow. That's nice. Yeah. Do you want to look through your discard real quick to see if you want to use it? Oh my gosh. The stress. Uh, what if I choose the wrong cards? Wait, well, so like, what is it exactly? To allow any ranger to choose up to two cards and return them to the top of their deck in any order. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Um... That's pretty nice. Do you have anything that you know for a fact that you want from your discard pile? Uh, let's take a look. Okay, so I, I'll use the Triceratops on myself here. So I get to look through my um, discard pile and mm -hmm. take two cards and put them on the top of my deck. So nice. I'm going to take the arrow shot and I'll take a, I'll take the other arrow shot. These so are the ones shots. that allow me to avoid uh, the guard card. So I'm going to take them both and nice. go on top of my deck. I don't get to use them, but... We, did you remember how many shields they were? They were two shields each. Okay. Yeah. And then, so these get wiped because we have yes. we have completely uh, filled it and gotten our Zord. Okay. And so now the Nasty Knight, I can't believe this is only the Nasty Knight's second turn, <laughs> but the Nasty Knight goes mm -hmm. and that gets tapped. So now it goes back to us. So yeah. we need to defeat <laughs> two more Nasty Knight cards. Yeah. Four damage this each. How much energy do we have? Two. I'm gonna play Team Tactics. Okay. That allows it, us to gain an energy. Nice. So, and it says another ranger of your choice may immediately play one card. So I'm going to choose myself. Oh, wow. And I'm gonna play the Power Sword. I didn't even ask for permission, is that okay? Well, <laughs> what do you, you think? Uh, yeah, that's fine. The Power Sword, it costs three energy, but it's five dice. Do. Okay. So it's gonna cost the rest of our energy. Oh, do it. Okay. <laughs> we need it. I wanna, I wanna take so, down this monster. This, this is round. five dice. Oops. And you have Jason's reroll. And I have Jason's reroll. And uh, Mighty Morphin Black's Hip Hop Keto. So. so the only problem with this whole plan is there's a guard. There's a guard protecting that card. Oh, the plot thickens. It does thicken, yeah. <laughs> there's a guard right there. I know. We're going to get dealt four damage. Twice. <laughs> Wait, hold on then. Let's not let's not play that card. Yeah, maybe not. That, that was a that would have been a waste. Been so a waste. let's get that three energy back. Let's get the three energy back. Um, One here, I'll still two to you. keep that team tactics play. There you go. Good thing I didn't roll yet. Yeah, I need no guards anymore, man. These guards. Suck. All right, so this is guarded. Um, so I I guess what would be I good I guess is if we just target this one. Yeah. It'll buy us some time. It'll buy us some time to get rid of these two. Yeah, I agree. Okay, so so then yeah. I will play the power sword. Yeah, good call. Yeah. So I'm going to spend three. three. One, two, three. Two, three. And I get the five, five dice. dice. Here we go. Yeah, you don't do it this time. We're in trouble. Four, four health. You against need so, it. Right, four damage to hit. Come on. Minimum four. Nasty slash. Oh my gosh. I'm going to reroll. Oh yeah. <laughs> this one. Please do. Just one. Something. Just one. Anything. Please. Oh my gosh. That stunk. What's the end of that? So I did three damage to it. It. Wow, it's gonna, these guys are going to beat us up pretty bad. It says the next time any ranger performs an attack during this battle, add two dice to that attack. Sure. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> okay. Um, uh oh. Okay, so now the nasty slash resolves and us. we deal four damage. So who's going to take it? 
So I have strategize here. I could put my uh, my three shield on top and take it. Okay. So I, I think I'm gonna do that. But it's gonna make you discard it. It's four damage. Yeah, that's fine. But every okay. card has at least one shield, so I know I'm gonna you know. Yeah. Okay. Go for it. All right. So strategize once per battle. A ranger of my choice may draw a card. I drew a card which has attacks in it. <laughs> and then I get to put down a card, which is this one right here, and it's going to be right there. Okay, and so now I will take the four damage. The card I put back down on top has the max three shields, so it goes into my discard. I have to continue drawing. Every card has at least one shield, so I know that this is going to be overkill. That's two shields, because overkill, I go underneath. I don't have to discard it. Okay, that's the end of my turn. Very good. So this gets resolved. Now it's back to us. Now we have zero energy. But we can have, we can... If I do take aim, we gain an energy to the pool and I get to immediately play an attack card and then I have an attack card from Billy that does not require um, energy. any energy. Yeah. Okay, go for it. Okay, so we're gonna play take aim, zero energy cost. It's gain one energy to the supply. You may immediately play another card. If it's an attack, you may reroll any number of dice during that attack. So um, I will... Who are you gonna target? Uh, the... This one? Yeah. Nasty slash? Okay. That way we don't have to take its damage, We just right? need one. We just need one. So we're going to play one. Billy's right here. And then a, this one is after I play this card, I may place it on the top of my deck instead of discarding. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So this is going to give me two dice. Plus the two additional Plus the dice two additional from, from my Jason. power sword. So this would be a pretty big shame if we fail. Nice. Oh, no fail, overkill. That's wow, overkill. that would have been great if we went for anybody else. Where was that roll? <laughs> That's fine. Like five minutes wow. ago. So oh that was gosh. Nasty That's Slash, that one, right? Yeah. Okay. So this Goodbye, nasty is slash. defeated. And now the Nasty Knight goes and nothing happens. So back to us. Okay. Yeah. So we do have now one energy from the thing I have I have played. I can take out that guard side. You can Actually, come in for the Nasty Slash. We should take out this swarm attack. What does he want? It's going to go next, and it's going to attack us. It's going to deal one damage plus one for each foot soldier in this location. So that's going to be six, five damage. To one person? Yes. So we should take that one out. Okay. Can you do it? Um, I have my Tyranno Slash. That's three dice. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to do it. Okay, I'm going to play the Tyranno Slash. Yes. One energy. One energy. Bye-bye energy. And it's three, three dice. Three dice, okay. And I can reroll any number of dice during this attack. So you are on it. If it's ability. So you're going to go for that swarm I'm attack. I'm going for the swarm attack. Cool. we got to get it out. Please, please, please. One, two, three. Yes. All right, no need to reroll. Okay, so no need Perfect. to reroll anything. Good. So now so we bought ourselves is, a little bit more time, too. This is a Putty Patroller. So it's yep. out. Out. It goes here. And now that Putty Patroller would take its turn. Yep, this party probably take its turn. Now, do you want to do that thing? We need to get this card. I mean, really... yeah, I gotta go for it. So I'm gonna. <laughs> now this is my last, my last go for the attack. That's okay. Now, do you want me to go for the na the nasty slash, or do you want me to take out the guard? Because with my attack, I can avoid the guard. I don't have to. I don't mm -hmm. have to abide by the guard. But if I fail to roll a double and two singles or something like that. Mm -hmm. You don't have the ability to over to go around the guard. Right. You have to deal with the guard. Do you, will we have more energy left over? No. <laughs> oh. No. Maybe I should just try to get rid of this card. I have lead the charge. That's a two die attack. Attack, and it'll let you um, add one die to do the it. next attack. Okay. Do it. And it's free. Yeah. It's free. So, lead the charge. I'm going okay. to target the cannon fodder. You need to roll a double and a single. Dude. A double and a single. Two dice. And the next time any ranger performs an attack, double single. Double single. Double single. Double single. What about a double double? Double double is good. That's asking a lot. Single. This is single. Hmm. Yeah. What's that? So that's that. Um, <laughs> I. <laughs> I guess it didn't happen. I guess it didn't. <laughs> so <laughs> this taps. Uh, that took that took its turn. Do you want me to do what I said I would try to do? Go yeah, for it. Yeah, I guess you should try now. We're going hard. Okay, so I'm gonna play the maneuver, <laughs> which gains us another energy. Okay. Then with that newfound energy, I'm gonna go ahead. And so you can immediately play another card. Correct. Okay. Another attack. I'm gonna play the one energy cost arrow shot, and really go hard. 
What does it say? If it's an attack, oh, you may reroll any number yep. of dice. Yeah, exactly. Nice. So I get three dice here. I get to reroll as many dice. So as long as I'm right, going you... for this guy right here, I want to defeat this monster so we get a Zord that we can then use to help us okay. ASAP. Oh, so I can reroll. You can reroll <laughs> left. <laughs> Wait, which which ones can you reroll? This one. You may reroll re any number of dice during that attack. I vote you reroll all of them. So if you guys can't see, I rolled you feel triple snake eyes, nothing. <laughs> he dealt no damage. What was that? An arrow shot? Okay, you gotta. You I just completely aim that bow missed. Yeah. Towards the nasty knight. Let's wow. Go. Good luck. Two. Okay, so that's two hits. Two. Oh my gosh, please, wow. oh please. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> we might be done, though. Yeah. Well, I have nothing in terms of attack at this okay. point, and you have to take out that well, card. <laughs> well, cannon fodder goes first. It's going to deal two damage. Yeah, do you want to remove so, you? I'll take it. Sure? Sure. That's three. Oh, nice. Three. It had three shields on it. Yeah, three shields. Real quick with that. So I can, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> put this in the bottom of the deck. And um, <laughs> this gets tapped. Nice. We don't have to deal with that guy. Except he's blocking us. Can we don't you... have any energy? No! <laughs> oh, we're done. Oh, I, I have knowledge is power, which adds energy, and you can look through your, uh, your deck to find the card of your choice. And then I have it again. <laughs> and that's it. Okay, so I'm going to play that knowledge is power. So I'm going to use it on myself. I'm going to gain one energy to the supply. And I'm gonna hope that I can find something. Oh, from your deck. If you draw, yeah, you search deck. their deck for a card. Okay, um, try to look for the card that lets you buy the guard. I have it. Yes, I have it. So I'm gonna take it. Hallelujah. And then that means I have to shuffle the rest. I don't have too many cards left, so I'm gonna need some help yeah. here soon. We're gonna need to. Need you to might know. need to just do a full recover I instead think I'm of going moving to somewhere else. Afterwards. Yes. So. Hmm. So. Well, wait, that, so that was a whole turn. That right? was the turn, yeah. Okay, so then the leaping attack happens and it's Since I will take I will do a full recover. Yeah. Let me take the damage. Okay. Okay, so it's three gonna deal three damage. One. Two, three, four, overkill. So because it's overkill, it's gonna go at the bottom. Bottom of your deck, yes. That's perfect. This is good. I feel good about Excellent. this. Excellent. So <laughs> now it's our final turn. Final turn. You have this one last turn to defeat the nasty knight. With my arrow shot that I just newly acquired from my deck, I'm going to spend one energy. And it's exactly what we tried to do last time. We so need to three roll. Dice. Yes, and I have one reroll. You just need two. Two. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh. Four. Yes. That, was what, that was what we were looking for on the previous turn. Oh, so that wave of relief. Okay. So, so the nasty, Mr. Knight nasty Knight has been defeated. Defeat. And because the Nasty Knight was defeated, the other... The putties um, go bye-bye. putties go bye-bye. They don't we're get no added longer, to our experience track. We're no longer panicked. And, like we forgot last time, when you defeat a monster, a monster you get a Zord. So let's see if we get you a Zord. Ah, we do. Yay! Tyrant so we get a Tyrannosaurus. Here's a Nasty Knight's All deck. Right, nasty and then these are for the putty patrollers. Okay. Yeah. So this this Tyrannosaurus is um, Mighty Morphin Red's Zord. Um... And it says, exhaust this card before a ranger performs an attack to add two dice to that attack. We could have used that. We could use that so many times. So, <laughs> and the sad thing is, we don't even get to We're use it. We're not going to battle. I need a full recover. I, I don't know about you, but... Well, I don't have any more action tokens. So Can you do this twice? I can do that twice. You should do it twice. So you have two action tokens to use. So, okay, I'm going to do a full recover. So, do you, so Naveen's going to do a full recover, meaning he has to spend one. I'm gonna spend one. To move into the command center. Correct. Oh wait, you're red, uh, you're I'm pink red and blue. Yeah, pink okay. and blue. Okay. So now I'm in. So now you shuffle that... shuffle the whole your whole deck. Yes, even including the card in my hand. In... Perfect. Everything. I don't want this thing anymore. Okay. And okay. you get to replenish your energy tokens. Nice. Does that cost an action? I don't remember. Is this costing me an action to do this? Or it, just moving in? Moving into the command center automatically does a full does recover. It. Oh. Needed it. Um and then where are you gonna go with your last Actually, you want to get yourself in position, into position. Yeah, I don't want to waste. I, it. We're assuming Rita is probably going to come in this next. I just don't know where she's going to end up. Mm. Where do you think she will end up, Monique? Because <laughs> it doesn't. I, mean, I have a one in four. I have a one in four shot of ending up where Rita ends up. 
Um, who knows? So I'm going to spend these um, last sure. recover tokens. I'm going to be moving. Yeah. You're moving? I'll move to Angel Grove Park just to kind of take in the sights. Okay. I'm going to spend these um, recover tokens to recover twice. So I get six shields. I can I have two energy tokens for these guys? Yes. Please? Much needed. Thank you. One and one. And then I get six shields worth. I like this one a lot. Five. Six. <laughs> nice. Okay. I just needed like That's good. more you, cards. You, yeah, you, yeah. Right? Just have more cards. So, That's good. So yeah, how much is in your sure. discard now? Um, you have four at least? One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Okay, good. Because yeah. you do have that one card. I somewhere do. there that's if you have four cards in your discard i do good so we are reaching that's it that's it for the round we that's spent round, all of yeah. our action tokens so yes. we are done so i'm hoping rita shows up here <laughs> she well we've defeated uh two both monsters so now is the time that rita would show up she would show up good luck to us so let's oh, unexhaust okay. our exhausted zords and well flip over our action tokens yep flip these over and we are going to go into what we hope is going to be the final round. Yeah. Or actually, that's... Yeah, maybe. Maybe. So here we go. Final rounds. One is two putty... Oh, here we go. Oh, the boss. Okay. Here she is. Rita Repulsa and two putty patrollers okay. are going into the industrial district. So it becomes panicked. So how many can fit in here? Six. Six. So two putty patrollers this is and perfect. the and guest the of honor. Where is she? There she is. Ah. Rita Repulsa. Okay. We are panicked. All right. So that's two. So panic I guess wrong. I'm here. <laughs> uh, we have two super putty patrollers in the Ernie's Juice Bar. Okay. okay. Uh, two regular putty patrollers in Angel Grove Park. So it's already panicked. This is already panicked. So now they're going to go to Ernie's Juice Bar. They just go in a clockwise order until you can fill in. Uh oh. That's not good. Yeah. How many is that so far? Three. That's one, two, three. Four, oh, one good. putty patroller in Angel Grove High. Perfect. That's exactly where we need to stuff these guys. And then one last. Two, three, four, five. Uh, two super putty patrollers in Angel, Angel Grove, Grove High. Okay. It's panic now. Oh, wow. We Oh, wow. We were one plastic figure from losing from the game. From just straight up losing right yeah. away. <laughs> from just like immediate loss. Destruction. Destruction. Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay. So we need to... Well... We pretty much need to survive... Yeah, we need to survive. This is uh, if we don't defeat her this round, we're probably going to lose. Doesn't it take two rounds to defeat her? Uh, it takes two battles to two defeat battles her. Two battles to defeat her. But if we don't defeat her now, we're we're most it's likely to lose. Yeah, it's pretty much over at that point. Yeah, yeah. we got to go for it. Oh, okay. So we, for the boss battle, it's the same way that the monster battles are fought, with the exception of we must defeat six of her cards six of her cards instead so, of just four so it's going to require at least two battles right because we still only lay out four cards so mm -hmm. if you're successful with those four cards in the next battle you have to defeat two cards so just a reminder we have to defeat six of our cards and survive to the end of that battle mm -hmm. it doesn't just end immediately mm -hmm. so there's a lot at stake the good thing is right there's now. a ton of simple putties in there so <laughs> simple do, putties you simple putties <laughs> well they do they do less crazy things than the super putties there happens to be six with her. So I don't know about you, but I'm going to spend my first action token in, you know, to I'll join you by moving into there. We're, we're going for it. We're going hard. Okay. Okay. Um, I'll initiate the battle if you'd like. I mean, we're probably both going to need to. Yep. So sure. I will initiate battle. So draw seven. Draw seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, Come on, seven. Give me all the attacks. And three energy tokens. Many attacks. Wow, Rita, I'm not looking forward to her right now. I feel like we just like inched our way out of that last battle. I know. I did recover all my cards. I did recover all my cards. It's like it never happened, you know? Can I have the uh, oh, wow. Rita's the Rita deck? deck? Oh, oh my yeah. gosh. These, are, these is... are some pretty bad cards. So Rita's deck is pretty brutal. What's going to happen here? All right, if you'd like to shuffle more, please seal our fate with I the shuffle. <laughs> now we do have four Zords. So. Okay, so we are going to lay out Rita Repulsa's cards, right. starting with the Wicked Hex. This is a fast card. Okay. It says, deal six damage to the ranger with the fewest cards in their deck. Oh, that's you. That's mean. That's, that's you. really mean. Uh, Cruel Laughter. This is a guard card, and it says, each ranger must discard from their hand the card with the most shields. Okay, that might be me. It's not nice. This oh, is another, okay. another Cruel okay. Laughter. Okay, no so. problem. And then we have the Witch's Curse. And this is a passive card. 
while this card is in play, the energy cost of all combat oh. cards is increased by one. So oh. we're going to need we need to deal with that. A lot of energy. Yeah. We also have four regular putty patrollers. Oh yes. Come on, go easy on us putties. Please, please. You can shuffle if you'd like. Okay. Please. Just for funsies. Okay. Ready? Yes. This is a passive card. It's flanking. While this card is in play, each time another enemy card deals damage, increase the damage. Oh my by gosh. One. And then we have a Deal leaping three attack. Okay, we've seen Deal that guy before. Three damage. Mm -hmm. Then we've got cannon fodder. This is a guard card. Luckily, they can't guard each other, but this is guarding this one. Right. Let's deal two damage. And last but not least, another cannon fodder. Okay. So lots wow. of guarding. Lots of guarding. This is a bad. So we're gonna have to fight this one, I think, because that's a guard. Well, do you want to do the quick shot? The quick shot first. Yeah. To pow. <laughs> so we're just gonna do a one shot pow to. Uh, now this can bypass guard cards, which is cool. So it's just one shot at somebody. We, I mean, we're going to have to defeat this and this, and they're both guards, so it's kind of identical. I so think. Do, why don't you just do the, the quick shot one, right? to, yeah, the Wicked Hex. Because it's six health. Oh, to the Wicked Hex. Right? Yeah. Do you want? Should I do it to the, the Cruel Laughter? Yes, this one, so that we can get rid of that passive card. Okay, let's do it to the third Cruel Laughter. This one? Yeah. Okay. So that's the Kimberly's quick shot goes to Thanks, you. Tim. All right, so now um, Rita Repulsa is going to go first because it says fast. So she's going to deal six damage to the ranger with the fewest cards in their deck. I, have I think one, that's two, you. Three, I have no. Four, five, six, seven, eight, I have nine. no discard, so it's you. All right, so wait. Oh, do I have I do a... have a Billy strategize if you want to use it. Okay, I'm going to do it. Okay, so Billy's going to do his thing. So I draw, draw a card, and then I can draw, I can put a card on top. Your, of all the cards now that you hold, you can put one on top. Basically allowing you to put shields down. Yes, okay. So I'm going to put this card on top, and now I'm going to take my <laughs> six, six damage. damage. So that's three shields. That that's gets the one discarded. you purposely did. Another, Four, another five, three. Nice, wow. So that gets there. discarded also, but now I don't have to continue drawing. Yeah, good. Uh, so, so she went did their thing. back to us. So I think we need to hit that first guard, right? Okay. Um, wow. Um, so how much energy do we have? Technically two more. If yeah, I should just tap this, right? To get oh, us two energy. Doesn't really matter. I what. guess we can do it right at the last moment. And I have this, the Tyrannosaurus. Which is what again? It says um, I can add two dice to an attack before a ranger performs an attack. Nice. <laughs> I mean, I have one for four. It'll take it'll be four energy. Four energy? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's just do it. I'm going to play my power sword. Nice. So that's going to cost four energy. Three energy, right? Well, it's three plus one from for the power sword. Oh, yeah, this woman. Okay, three yes. and so then one. Three and then one from me. Sure. So it's four energy. Wow, I think it's killing us. It's five dice attack. Okay. And um, it says the next time any ranger performs an attack during this battle, add two dice to that attack. Okay. And I have this reroll. Nice. And Ideally, we'd like to not have to use it. I'm now, target... don't forget you have this, this kick yes, thing. Yes, but yeah. this is only after I defeat something. Okay. So I'm targeting Cruel Laughter with my Power Sword. Ready? All right. I need four. Oh, wait. Should I add an extra two dice? Uh, I think I can do it? Yeah, just All right. go for it. I'm going to do it. Good luck. Oh, All right. Phew, nice. Two, four, five, six. Six. So wow, could have, you could have taken out fast. Defeat... <laughs> I know. We, we defeat okay. this That's one. That's good, though, because then that would not go. And because I defeated it, I'm going to use my um, Hip Hop Keto. This is after you defeat an enemy card with an attack, I could deal one hit to another enemy card adjacent to your target. So I might as well yeah. do it to this one. Nice. And so this gets exhausted, and that's it. But next time um, a ranger performs an attack, you can add two dice. So now reader will go. Back to okay, us. so I'm gonna try to take out that guard. I think. Uh, yeah, we just need two more hits there, and you already have a base. I have of a two. free tactical strike, which costs two. It's which it cost one. Energy. Cost one energy, which is the minimum. What is it? What else does it let you do? Uh, it lets me put the card back on top. Let do me have? do my lead the charge. Then. Oh yeah, do yeah. If you have something better, go for it. Well, it's similar to that. What What is your benefit? It's going to cost one energy, but it'll allow us to add one die to the next oh, attack. Oh, yours is way better. Okay, let's do it. Lead the charge. So it costs one energy. So it's going to cost one energy. You can use your So right. last one. I have two. 
Okay. And so it's a deep, it's a base of two dice, but I get an additional two dice nice. because okay. of the power And sword. so you're attacking which one? And I'm attacking that um, one, right? Cool yeah. Laughter. Oh my god. Cool Laughter. Let's go. I need two. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh. Wow. Perfect. Barely. Okay. But you did it. So I did it. So this gets, this one is destroyed. Right. And now we can work on this one. Well, nice. no, it's guarded from below as well. Oh, it is. Okay, yeah. great. <laughs> yeah. And but I think I have that card that allows me to bypass that. Well, so she's going to go. Yeah. So we tap that. Now it goes back to us, and we can add one die to the attack because I played the lead the charge. Yeah, so I do have the arrow shot, which I can avoid this guard capability. It gives me three die to do so. Uh, yes. And it's... Do you want to add two, an extra two dice to that attack just to be on the safe side? Probably, just because I want to. I want to. I want to finish as many Rita cards as possible. So you're gonna have how many dice? Is I'll that? have. We'll have five dice total. Three so this plus is three plus two plus one. Yeah. So six. Mm -hmm. Six dice on that one. Let me see if I, I have the take aim also, which allows me to put one into the bank. Yeah, I should use this. I should put one into the bank, right? Uh, and then what? And then what? And else? then take another. Take that uh, immediately. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. It's the same card that I've been playing the whole time. Okay. So, so one energy into into the bank, and then you well. can play another card. Yeah, and then if it's an attack, you may reroll any number of dice during that attack. Okay. So then should we not exhaust? That's this? what I'm thinking. Yeah. Okay. So, but you still get that one additional dice. So what are you gonna play? I'm gonna play this, the arrow shot. So it's, it requires two energy. Two energy because of Rita. So one. <laughs> because of Rita. Two. You, Rita. Yeah. Uh, so it's three dice, three dice plus an additional one and I from get to re -roll. the charge. Correct. And I get and to re-roll as many dice as I want. So, so I'm looking for five. a five here. One, two, three. Oh my gosh. Okay. So now now we gamble. How yeah. many of these are you going to re-roll? Is this just a one in six shot? Oh my <laughs> gosh. This is the difference. This could be the difference okay, so between winning or losing. And so that arrow shot lets you, yeah, ignore the guard. Okay. Ah, oh, man. So, okay, there's some math here because to roll a double is a one in six shot. If I take these, I have three singles, so I can always re roll a single and just get a single double. Or I could really go for it and, and try to up the, the odds for if double double. If you can. Hmm. If you can deal at least four damage to her, okay, we can probably get her in the next attack. Get get this card at least. The next then I'll just reroll one. one, and because we have three there, then okay. I'm going for the. I'm hoping for a double, but if I get a single, then we get to the four, like you said. Yeah. Okay. Single. Okay. Okay. So that's four. Four damage. One, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four. I only have one energy. We also okay. have the, we also have the pterodactyl to give to. Okay, so she goes, and this she just goes. happens. That just happens. It's just a passive. There's no actual damage though, right? No. Okay. So I'm going to attack this guard. How much energy do we have? One, but the pterodactyl. Let's, let's do the pterodactyl. Okay, pterodactyl is going to add two. So now we have three, two in the center, and then one on Billy. Okay. I'm going to do the sweeping strike. So it's going to require two. Okay energy yeah. um and it's two dice but i'm just gonna use this okay yeah so i'm gonna use this to I'm gonna exhaust it to add two dice to this attack so it's you're trying to dice. go for that guard right there yeah right? i'm going for this guard and it allows me to deal one um damage to an enemy card adjacent to the target and so she's oh adjacent. oh wow that's so good so let's do this one first yeah yeah, Three yeah. Health. let's go and i still have jason's one two three okay perfect perfect yeah so this one goes bye-bye bye. Bye. and yeah. so that's one of these guys oh, yeah. plus hey. the experience track and because it was a sweeping strike i deal one uh, damage to an enemy card adjacent to the target which is so now, that one because the guard is gone now the witch's curse has been lifted oh man things do not cost one extra wow, one that was extra. expensive yeah um very good okay but so now this happens have we taken any damage um did you take damage you took damage was it exact or was it over? You got exact, the three and three. Because it says you're supposed to, to increase that damage by one. Oh, so it's sort of in seven? 
So you're supposed to take one more card. So to so remedy it, that. I'm just going to discard a card. Okay, yeah. So one shield. Yeah, All right. that's a mistake. Okay, so... So that this one goes. <laughs> yeah. You're like, so, uh, yeah. And we can... What do you want to do? We can try to defeat these guys so they don't de deal damage to us, or we can try to go for her. I think we got to try to go for her, right? I mean... I mean, we're probably... Do you think we can deal six damage to her? How much energy do we have left? Uh, we have one energy, um, but all my attacks right now uh, require... Oh, I have an attack that allows me to roll two dice and then put one energy into the system. You want to do that? Sure. All right. We're going to do the flying kick. Flying against? Kick against uh, Wicked Hex. Okay. Uh, Cost nothing. We are. I'm going to roll two die and... I we gain can. one energy to the system, so hopefully that'll help. So we have two energy total okay. to work with. <laughs> Come on, double, double. Single, single. Okay, okay. so that's two, Take the two average. damage. Take the average. All right. Two damage on the Wicked Hex. Yes. Uh, and now they... I'll take the three damage. You're going to take the three that's, damage? Yeah, I think it's you're... actually four damage because of this passive card. Oh, yeah. Card. Okay. Well, one. One. Two. Oh, no. Okay, oh. two more damage. Three, four. Okay, okay. done. Be done with that. So Oof. that was done. Man. So we need four more damage yeah, on you, here. Yeah, what you got? Okay, so I have a tactical strike. I can do. Um. Okay, I can spend one energy for a four die roll, or I can spend no energy for a three die roll. One energy for a four die roll. Okay. Yeah. I would have to discard the top card of my deck. That's okay. So this is a reckless blow. And um, I can discard the top card of my deck to add two dice to this attack. So it's going to be four dice total. Nice. All right. And I'm targeting the Wicked Hex. Wicked Hex. Let's get that done. Let's get it out of here. And I have Jason Lee Scott still. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's over perfect. here. Okay. Oh, oh. nice. Wow. Maybe, four, wow. Four hits there. So she. So that is done. She is finished. This, Finito. Well, no, she's not finished, well, but that fourth card Yeah, that is. fourth card is. So now we'll, we're only going to need uh, two more cards to defeat. Um, so I'll take that damage that's going to happen right now, right? Are you going to take it? Yeah, I think you, you need your cards as much as possible. I do. You're, you're running low. Oh so gosh. I'm going to take... So deal two damage, which is really three damage because of that passive. Yeah, deal three damage. So one, two, three. Done. So this gets tapped. Uh, do we want to continue playing cards? I don't think so, right? Because we're well, not going to get hit. Well, actually, yeah, you know what? I'm going to play a maneuver. Why? Uh, I gain one thing. It's just straight up gain one thing. And a ranger of your choice may search their deck for a card and add it to their hand. If they do, they must shuffle their deck. Would you like to search through your deck to take one? Is there one that you should probably get those car those guard cards? Okay, so you want to do it? So I'll put one sure. into the system. Into the common pool. Common pool. And then I get to look through, not the discard, it's through, through my, uh, oh, there it is, arrow shot. This one? Yeah. Okay, I'll take it. All right. And, and then you have I to shuffle, shuffle that. And I have to shuffle. Uh, and then, that, that, that was the whole turn, right? Yeah. So then it goes back to them, and goes back to us, and I don't think we should play any more cards. I think we should just be done. No. Okay, so the battle is done. We have these four cards, so. and we're going to keep them off to the side to show that we've defeated four of her cards already. Perfect. And these four will go back in the regular Putty Patroller deck. So we haven't defeated her yet. No, we and have to we, beat two more of her cards and then survive. We actually only beat one Putty Patroller. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that Mastodon hmm. is really useless. Well, let's just use it now. Okay. I'm going to tap the Mastodon to get rid of one, one more. Goes over here. Just in case we have another one of those cards, it's like add a damage per foot yeah. soldier. Yeah, good call. Yeah. And I think we should recover before totally we, we should initiate the battle again. I agree. So, so one each. Can. So we can take up the six shield worth. Yeah, so I'm going to untap these because these are both ones per battle. Yeah. And can I... I'm going to take my two energy right now. One each. And oh, so yeah. this actually goes back one to you. One for me. Oh, okay. Because the battle ended. That's right, that's right. So I untap these. Okay, so now we can take six shields back. I guess so that's... One, two. Be very careful about the ones that you choose. I know. <laughs> because this is it. I know. This is... I, you, well, we need as much attack in there, right? Oh, my goodness. And, oh, wait, wait. Uh, did you already do your this thing? I have the Triceratops. Exhaust this card to allow a ranger to choose up to two cards from their discard pile and return it to the top of their deck. Oh, can I do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah do it. Okay, I'm going to do that first. Actually, no, I'm going to do it the other way around. 
Take your six shield. I'm gonna take my six shields, yeah, first, and then do that. Because I have to shuffle them in? Yep. Man, I don't like the fact that I'm holding on to these cards still. These are not good. I don't have any more cards left in my deck. I can't take any damage. I'll take all the damage, I guess. I have cards. I have a ton of cards. I only have oh, four cards. Man. Wait, what's your discard? I'm holding it. Oh, that's oh, you're holding your discard. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> not a good sign. I'll take the damage, I suppose. So, we're done. We've recovered. Um, you don't have any more action tokens, right? Uh, nope. You're so, initiating the last battle here. With my final action token, I'm initiating the last battle. That was the penultimate battle. So this is three, no, this that is was the, the penultimate. ultimate. This is the ultimate. So three energy tokens in three the, in the center. pool. I wish by this point we would have uh, gotten the the mega the Zord. Zord. Well, we had to get the yellow ranger Zord, which is on top. Also, we never got there. Yeah, it's hard. What a shame. It's hard. Well, I have quick shot. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, draw well, back I have up to, to seven. Draw up to seven. Three, yeah. four, five, six, seven. Oh my gosh, I'm running so low. Okay, so can you pass me Rita Repulsa's yeah, deck? Yeah, Rita. Okay, Rita. So here we go. All right, so this is the final Rita Repulsa hand. Ready? Okay. We've got Chain Lightning, fast. Deal four damage to each ranger. Shadow Binding. Fast. So this goes here. Deal three damage to the ranger with the most cards in their hand. That ranger must discard their entire hand. Wow. I don't know how that's supposed to work for that's us. But... Pretty traumatizing. Another chain lightning. Okay, so at least this goes ahead of entire that. Entire hand. Deal four damage to each ranger. And then the last one is another wicked hex. So this goes, deals six damage to the ranger very fast. with the fewest card in their fewest cards in their deck. Okay. And then we need four putty patrollers. Mm. I think we're gonna get destroyed here. I don't. I don't discard your entire hand. Well, we need to to eliminate that. Sure. Before we get there. Okay. Or yeah. Else we're done. We, yeah. We cannot allow that to happen. Um. We just cannot afford to have a guard on that one too. It, here we go. Yeah. Putty patroller one. Leaping attack. Deal three damage. This one's a guard. Cannon fodder. Passive. The passive flanking, which says while this card's in play, each time another enemy card deals damage, increase that damage by one. Oh my gosh. And a swarm attack, which is deal one damage, increase the damage by one for each foot soldier in this location. Okay. okay. We'll deal with that one. Yeah, so yeah. let's do the, the Kimberly quick shot. Yeah, uh, on that seven. I think we're gonna we're gonna try to hit that seven. Hit this one? Yeah, that, that that's right. a big problem. We can't have that. Quick shot to shadow binding. And then um, Rita will go first with that deal six damage to the ranger with the fewest cards in their deck. That's, That's me, you. right? Do you, uh, yeah, I have that strategize if you want to. So it's actually seven damage because of that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, let me see if I have any seven. reactions. I have this one. I have a block. It costs zero energy to use it. It's a reaction. Play this card when any ranger suffers damage to reduce that damage by three. Nice. So now it's, so it's four. four. Do you want to okay. take it as four or do you want to use my card? What does your card do again? The whole thing about um, draw a card and then put one down on top. I'll do that. Okay, so we're going to use Billy's special ability. So I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to put one on top. I'm going to put this card on top. So now I have to do four damage. So this is two shields and one oh. shield. Oh my gosh. Four or five. Okay, yeah, so keep this it. goes underneath. I cannot take any more damage. No, oh man. So that one's done. <laughs> yeah. The, we need to get rid of that now. Because that's deal four damage to each ranger. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's four health. So. It's guarded. <laughs> so I have the arrow shot, which gives me three. I think you have to do it. Arrow shot. It's going to cost one. One energy. One energy. Three dice. Three dice. And you're attacking the chain lightning, right? Yeah. So three dice to this card. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna before that I was actually supposed to use the take aim, which is adds one to the to the supply, and then I may re-roll any dice. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so adds one to the supply? Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Wow. So are you gonna re-roll these two? Yes. So we need three. Come on. Okay. Two. Well, do we lose? I think that's it. Well, let's just go through the process of Wait. losing. Oh, Jason Lee Scott, Mighty Morphin Red <laughs> says, "Once for battle, a ranger of your choice may reroll any number of dice during an attack." So, 
Do we go for the one in six You're shot? You're a gambling man. One in six shot it is. All right, you know, I'm actually going to roll two of them. You're going to re-roll two? Yeah, I mean, you know, I got a one in six shot. There's a 50% shot of getting my one again anyway. It's true. So. Then you might as well re-roll all I, three of them, right? Yeah, I, th I think so. Good luck. Two-two! 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 <laughs> oh. I don't know if we're just like drawing out our yeah, eventual demise. We are spiraling into this <laughs> But hey, that's that's one of the two cards we need Good job. to defeat Rita. That is. That's one of the two cards we need to defeat her. Okay, so that got defeated. Good job. And then now it goes to her turn. So that flips. We need to end this now. Yeah, so I have um I have this big mama. It costs three. It gives me one, two, three, four, five, six. Six dice. Wow, that's a really nice card. Um, how much energy do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, we could just buy. Oh, just buy it off? Buy it off, but then we won't have any more energy. <laughs> we'll just be like hobbling our way. <laughs> I think I could take damage. I think I could take quite a bit of damage. You can? I don't know about that last damage over there. That's a problem. This but... is deal four damage to each ranger. Yeah, that, yeah, that's going to be a problem in its own, but... Uh, I mean, buying, buying it is kind of nice. Okay, let me play my team tactics real okay. quick. It's a maneuver. We gain one energy. Nice. And then a ranger of my choice can take an, a turn, another turn immediately. Nice. I think, okay, then I think buy it off, right? You want to buy it off? For six, just be done with it. Because, I, I mean, I could, I could roll and then just... Because I have the another card also like yours uh -huh. but it's only five dice okay it costs three energy but it's five dice and the next time any ranger performs an attack you add two dice to that attack so it's very similar to the card that you were drawing how, how many uh, energy does it cost three why don't i use my three on the last one and then you'll have five cards in your hand and then you'll just discard your hand, and then I'll just try to brave the storm and take all the damage throughout the rest of the game. <laughs> With oh my, my deck. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> um, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> right? Like, I, like, it's not bad. Like, I'll just take the damage. I'll just keep taking damage and, you and, can hold, and it. hold on for dear life. This I don't is know. Four damage, three damage. Yeah, sure. Um, or do you want me to be the one that loses all the cards? Yes. And then you just keep attacking and yeah. I'll take the defense? Okay, okay. This is assuming I, I'm i able sure. to eliminate this with five dice. Good luck. It's five on four. Five all right. on four. So I'm playing my power sword. Do you have any of your rerolls? Oh, and you have your... your uh, my hip-hop keto. Your hip-hop keto. One, two, three, <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be useful. Hip-hop keto. Jim. So three, three energy. I'm doing five dice. Five dice. And we're looking for four. We're doing it for Chain Lightning, right? We're looking for four. Oh my gosh. This is the end. Will I do it? Please do it. Okay. One, two, wow. three, four, five. Five. Two, three, four, five, six. Six? One, two, oh, three, wow. Five, I didn't six. even see that. Okay. Wow. Oh, wow, I could have gotten that one. <laughs> well, yeah, that's right. let's not talk about what could have been. But uh, so this gets eliminated. Destroyed, yeah. Destroyed. So we have six Rita cards. And I might as well do my Zach Taylor, uh, Hip Hop Keto, right? Yeah, so who... After I defeat an enemy card with an attack, I can deal one hit to another enemy card adjacent to my target. Do... Well, this one doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, it's this one then. So should I do this one? Yeah. Okay. Yes, that's good. So if we can survive the rest of this battle, then we win. Yeah, that's wow. it. We just have to hold on for your life. Okay, so I did that. So she goes next, and <laughs> she deals three, dam three damage to the ranger with the most cards in their hand. I have five cards in my hand. I have four. So you take three damage. Okay. And a discard, right? So that's one, two, three. After you play this card, place it on top of the deck instead of discarding it. But that's if I played it. Play so. it, but yeah. So that gets discarded. That's and now way. you must discard your entire hand. So now so, the rest is up to me. This is a little strange in the two-player game, because uh, typically there'll be more people. It's so. actually four damage to you. Four damage, okay. Because of this card. There's that right there. Okay, that was four, exactly four. All right. So. So this goes. 
my turn. I have some time hmm. to try to eliminate some of these cards. Yeah. I, so I, yeah, just buy yourself some time. So am I just out? I'm just out. You're just yeah. You're out. You're gonna be taking some hits. How many? How much energy do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Five. Yeah. Good luck. Okay. So you definitely need to take this thing out. This thing is guarded right here, so you can't take this out. Oh. So that's fine. Take out the guard. And then I'll take the three damage. Because the guard's gone, we'll buy some time. And then take out this guy. And then we'll try to buy some time with these two. Okay. And that's it. Um, that's really all we can do, I think. I don't know if you have any anything else. I'm going to play... So wait, did I play this? Yeah. yeah oh, good. Were. So I actually add two dice to my next attack. Oh, cool. Nice. So that's perfect. I'm gonna play lead the charge. Cost nothing. Cost nothing. Two dice. It's two dice and another two dice. Okay, so you need four. And then oh, next, so you get four. next attack, I can add one die to that attack. Okay, so you so. Just need three hits here. Okay, come on. Three hits. Please, please, please. All I'll right, so it's four. Perfect. One, two, three, four. Okay, Perfect. so this success goes away. Putty. Putty goes, goes there. Oh, that's good. But this is gonna yeah. get resolved, so it deals three damage. Three. You're gonna take it. One, two, three. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, it's still One, two, three. Oh, because of four. Oh, okay, good. So that means I overkilled, so it goes underneath. Perfect. Oh. So I, that resolves. I, I think I'm feeling pretty good now. So I am going to attack this one. Yeah. Right? Yeah, just overshoot it. Okay, so then I'm going to attack with my Mammoth Slam. It costs <laughs> nothing. Okay. And it's... Two dice, but it says if I have four or more cards in my discard, I add one more die. Nice. And then I add one die to the attack because of lead the charge. Just so many combos. All right, so many combos. So you just we just need two. Two, two points. Let's go. One, oh my two. gosh. Two, one, two. <laughs> Why was that two so close? Two blanks and two ones. Wow. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we eliminated that one. It's gone. Hey, one last putty. So close to the last sword. Oops. One last putty. Uh, this resolves. Yep. I mean, and then you gonna attack it? We're gonna survive. We're gonna. It's gonna. It's pretty much over. Attack it. You want me to attack Go it? Go hard. We get the. We get another. How lower. much energy do we have? A lot. One, two, three. Then let's just pay our way. Yeah. <laughs> so we're pay for two. Blade blaster. So let's pay one, two. two. One. One. Two. Two. To eliminate blast this it one. twice. So we oh. Blasted it. We are gonna win this game. And we get the last sword. And we well or we get the yellow. We get the yellow sword. Which we didn't is, get the mega sword. Uh, so in, in in this case, because nobody's controlling yellow, we can just choose who who gets it. So you you took all the hits. Oh, so you okay, get it. you're right. Saber tooth tiger. All right. So exhaust this card during a battle to allow each participating ranger to draw up to two cards. Oh my gosh, where was that? Where were you? I mean, <laughs> we're safe, but hey. So all of the party patrollers for the rest of the battle have been eliminated. The battle is done. The war has been won. We won. All right. Now, so I don't know fun. if we made some mistakes here and there because there was a lot to kind of keep track yeah, of. The but cards. It was still quite the experience. And we have defeated Rita Repulsa. Lovely Rita. I'm sorry. Defeat back in the can. Me. You go. I don't know if that's how that works, but probably not. Yeah, I think she gets like locked back up or something. Maybe. I don't remember how she ends her. But good wow. job. We did it. Rangers oh save the day. Goodness. <laughs> Okay, so we just finished that two-player playthrough of Power Rangers Heroes of the Grid. It was intense. <laughs> really we got intense. very lucky with some rolling at the end there. Yeah, um, for sure. It came to, down to the wire, and had we not gotten lucky, we would have lost. Yeah. But what did you think? So this is actually very different from we don't play dice rolling battle games usually. Like, yeah. we're usually, this is a household of a Euro game. Primarily so Euro games. This is very different for us. Yeah, I, I like it. Well, I was a big fan of Power Rangers when I was a kid. I was like five, six years yeah. old, I think, when it came out, like in 93. Me uh, too. I had the collectible cards. Yeah. I had I a remember, binder for them. I remember one <laughs> Christmas, my, my parents, that we were looking for this, like, this, this uh... The Megazord. No, it wasn't the Megazord. It was oh. a ranger in, like, the head would change oh, to, like, the yeah. face and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And, like, my, oh my parents... Gosh went all over like Southern California to find this this toy and they got it for me. They got my brother the Black <laughs> Ranger and I got the Green Ranger. So Green Ranger. Green Ranger, yeah. So I'm pretty excited to play this game. It was, so, it was fun, yeah. Theme wise is 
it's there. Out of the park for you, for you it sounds yeah, like, Yeah, the right? only thing that's missing is those big monsters just breaking cardboard box buildings. <laughs> that's kind of in the TV show. Yeah, thought. I think they actually have <laughs> expansions for those games. Oh, is that right? Yeah. I think so. Okay. Um, this game has a ton of expansion content. If you haven't, if you're not That's familiar with yes. it, right. or the rest of the, you know, stuff that they do, they have a ton of stuff. So if you're into dice, you know, rolling battle games, you should definitely check this one out. Mm -hmm. Because I would say because of that reason. Yep. Um, it's another co-op game. I like co-op games, as always, so... I would say... You know, we're not we're not really familiar or used to playing a lot of games like this, but if I were to play a game like this, this one's great. This one be it, yeah. Um I've been I've I've actually played this game with a group of people on the Renegade Game Studio. You played it with the designer. Stream. Yes, and one yeah. of the people uh, who is in that group is Jonathan Ying. He's the designer and he knows every <laughs> card. <laughs> like he designed you know, it. Yeah. We played this game together and it's like a uh so what card are you gonna play? But mm. when you when we play with them, they like they're on top of it. Yeah. They're they're like really quick. So you're the, you're the fish. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's what's cool about this game. Like if you play this game over and over again with the same group of people, you become very familiar with the different types of cards that are in the different decks. Tactics, and yeah. it's like these battles go quick. Like you just put down a card and you're next, next, next. Um so I think that was really cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's very well integrated. Um, I like the fact that, it, you know, it's another one of those games where you're going around the board trying to put out fires. You're like, oh, things are going on here. Oh, things are going on here. Right. Um, I like the the Zords, the, the Mega Zords that come in and give you uh, every single um, round, you get a bonus. Um, yes, it's a lot of yeah. combo Combos. Com combo following. Yeah. So I, I will say that that is something that I struggle with a little bit, like remembering that, oh, that card is there and it's active. So you have to deal oh, an damn. extra damage. You have to spend an extra energy. So keeping track of the grid is tough, but I think that the way that the game has been designed in terms of creating a grid, a battle grid system, is really cool. Yep. Like, it becomes a it becomes more than just dice rolling and attacking. There's a puzzle aspect to it. Like you're trying to figure out and strategize exactly which cards to attack, in what in order, the right order. Yep. In order to be successful, because order matters. If you don't go in the right order, you can mm -hmm. just lose. Yeah, I mean, just the way we we defeated Rita, we saw that one where it said one player discards their hand. And I think that at first when we read that card, we thought it was a major disadvantage in a two-player game. Like one of us oh, is just yeah. out of the game totally. versus a five-player game. Okay, one of the five of you is out. Uh, but we did it in the right order. We did get lucky with some of the dice We got rolls. very lucky. Uh, but, <laughs> very lucky. But we were able to manage our hand to a point where it said, okay, I'll take all the damage yeah. and then you just try to survive. Uh, so I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. I will say that the two-player game is vastly different yep. in experience-wise. Experience like, you still play the same, but experience-wise, it's just, uh, it comes with its own challenges, like the sudden death aspect. That part is scary. Yeah. You just yeah. cannot... That, cannot that, defeat your hand. Yeah. Seeing your deck get <laughs> smaller and smaller yeah. is very scary. And exactly, the fact that you have less hands that are engaged in the battle, right. it's tough. Um, yeah, the fact that you cannot split up your uh, characters, they must all travel together. Right. Uh, so it's a lot harder, you know, in a four-player game, you can each have a ranger in all four areas. Correct. To yeah. try to defeat people fires. on your yeah. own. Mm -hmm. In a two-player game, it's you can't do that. No. But otherwise, I, I think that it's just really well designed. It like is. The way that the deployment cards come out, how you kind of fill up the board, the way that you earn these zords... You know, it culminates in the Megazord. Yes. If you are able yeah. to get to the very last Zord, you we get the yeah. Megazord. We didn't get to it. Which is, let's take the, let's see what the Megazord does. So the Megazord, actually, the thing that it does is it lets you place the Megazord token in any location. So we have this Megazord token, and you can put this at any location. At the start of each battle, in the Megazord's current location, you deal one damage to each enemy card. <laughs> How amazing is that? Yeah, that's pretty good. Gosh, and we didn't ever earn the Megazord. And so that's something that you, you know, you want to try to work towards maybe early on when you're trying to get... You got to really um, defeat some putties. You have to like really like kind of tick away at them early mm -hmm. on well before the, the monsters come. I think so, yeah. And once the monsters come, of course, you're like focused on the monsters, but you just really need to try to, to, to chip away at these putties as much as possible to, to get, get to that, that Zord. Yeah, to get to that. That Megazord is awesome. 
So in terms of replayability in the game, there are two other monsters that come in the base game. Yes, uh, there's Pudgy, Pudgy Pig, Pig, this guy right here. And I forgot this, Bones. the Bones. His name is Bones. Bones, yes. So uh, they have their own unique decks also. They act kind of you know, differently. Yeah, um, they act according to you know their character. And, and so... again, there's a ton of expansions for this game. So I think it introduces other villains and other aspects and elements. I don't have any experience with that. Um, I think Monique has played a couple expansions. Yeah, I, I played them uh, with the Renegade game team mm -hmm. uh, on the, the live stream that they do. And they do those, or they used to do them, you know, before the quarantine. Right. So, and I, they're all still up on YouTube if you want to check them out. But um, I think that part is really cool. The expansion content makes it really awesome because pretty much whenever they'd go to the streams, uh, Jonathan Ying would kind of put together like a scenario and he'd mix and match the different expansion mm. content. We did a scenario where it was like all Green Rangers or something like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's really cool because you can pretty much... Create a situation? Yeah, you can okay. pretty much create the kind of gameplay that you're gonna have. Gotcha. So yeah, just overall, it's really neat. It's a really refreshing experience for us. The more I play it, the more I like it. Yeah. I think. Yeah. And yeah, if you like I said earlier, if you have a set group that likes to play like dice rolling battle games, then and you enjoy this IP, this is like perfectly right down your alley. Yeah, I'd like to play this at the full five player complement. It's probably where everybody really fun. is one ranger. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds really, really fun. So check it out. Yeah. And if you're interested, uh, their Kickstarter is currently live. So I will go ahead and put a link in the description below. Well, thank you guys so much for watching the playthrough. We hope you enjoyed it. I had a really, really good time playing it. Um, if you guys like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing. Bye. Bye.